with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that the Jewelry Maker phone number is free from a UK landline? Now you can spend those extra pennies on more shopping. Here at Jewelry Maker, we love seeing your jewelry creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewelry blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewelry underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. Learn great techniques with this fantastic DVD, Extruder Edition 1. Join guest designer Debbie Bulford and presenter Ed McKay and start creating new, exciting and colourful pieces of polymer clay using the multifunctional extruder tool. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Welcome everybody to Jewelry Maker. Thank you so much for turning on and thank you very much for watching us. My name is Rebecca Reddykin, but you can call me Becky. And today, if you've only just tuned in, don't You've only gone and missed our award show, but don't worry, it will be repeated this evening and you will be able to watch it back at your leisure on YouTube. But don't forget, if you want any of the deals, and trust me, some of them were ridiculous, um, then it, you do make sure you watch before 8 o'clock and check out those baskets or else you will miss out on the deals. Um, I've had an absolutely fabulous morning. It's just been crazy, crazy, crazy. Products, new, old, favourites we've not seen, price points that we're not allowed to do uh, any other time, even even beating the likes of some of our clearance deals today. We've had all of the awards. We've had so many messages in. And all throughout this, I have been joined by Mark Smith. Hello. 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 I just can't believe how quickly our shows go sometimes. Absolutely it's amazing, blown, isn't hasn't it? it? Completely. Absolutely Completely. blown. Is this coming up on our show? As far as I know, yes. Really? Yes. Yes. Okay. As far as I know. Why? Got your eye on it? Um, no, I can't. I just lost track of how many I've purchased. <gasps> oh, really? There. Yeah. Really? Well, in, my work, in my workroom, we were talking about workrooms earlier. I know I saw that as well. Mm. Um, I've got 215 of the little plastic boxes. Oh! That mm. is quite organised. Yeah. <laughs> yes. um, for the first time yeah. this year, we had viewers awards, and we were actually giving away um, kind of um, a credit to accounts mm. and trophies for viewers. And one of them was tidiest um, work right. area, and I mean, it was a caravan. It was a full four oh. berth caravan. It was incredible. Absolutely I bet it had running water amazing. and electricity and everything, didn't it? Abs yeah. yeah. It had absolutely yeah. everything. It was amazing. And things like this could give mm. you your own little slice of that wonderful caravan. And in fact, we're going to start off with it, if we may, because we are chatting about it. This is back by popular demand. And I mean really popular demand. I've actually got a tiny amount, though. Yeah. I've got less than 10. Okay, come on and get your hands, get yourself on the phone lines right here, right now. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, but we don't have many. Um, let me quickly show you around it. Jewelry maker, open, zips, down, box, 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 box. They all open like this, pop, and they all have different sections that you can take out and put in. Got to get your price point in. You ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Do, 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 12 .95. That's it, 12 pounds and 95 pence, that's it. One price point, and just let you know, you also have the zips that go around the top as well, so it all zips up. Got a hand here and you've got the extendable handle too not many of these left at all now in fact I've got about six left that's it so a really great deal Le Lena is saying ah, I overslept just turned in and wow you both look so glamorous happy New Year's Eve L Lena you slept till this time <laughs> 
Do you know what? I am superbly jealous. Superbly jealous. Honestly, Lena, genuinely, I would watch us back because um, um, uh, it was just a wonderful award. Yeah. Genuinely, so lovely. Um, hello to um, Mab. This is hello. Wishing you all a happy new year. Every one of you um, are a gem, especially you, Rebecca. Oh, the princess of jewellery maker. You are lovely, lovely, Becky. Oh, God, can I get that on a T-shirt or something? <laughs> can I at least get a hat? At least a hat? Princess of Jewellery Maker. Oh, thank you, Mavs. And mwah, big Happy New Year to you and the whole of your family. Really, oh, you're so look. Oh, that's put a big smile on my face now. I'm insisting upon a crown. Uh, okay, where are we going to next? Text in. Um, this says, is it wrong? I have a crush on Mark. <laughs> I don't think it's wrong. No, he doesn't <laughs> think it's wrong, so we can't at all. <laughs> at all. Why not? <laughs> in particular, when he gets that rosy glow in his cheeks. Don't you think? Look at him. Look at him. Gosh, oh, on the forehead. It. Move on. Move on. <laughs> move on. <laughs> oh, bless. Thank you for that. No, completely not. <laughs> okay, everybody. Um, this one, I'm going to do some plot spoilers now, if you don't mind. I'm going to have to do some plot spoilers um, for awards winning. We did Best Gem of the Year. Um, um, uh, was it Labradorite? Says uh, Ryan. No. Didn't even feature. Didn't even feature. Nope. It's the only time. It's the only time. First year ever. First year ever it didn't even feature. Mm. You ready for this? Was it even in the top was it in the top five? Because we didn't it wasn't in four. The number one gemstone is voted for by you. Let's do a hand grand reveal. <laughs> Just <laughs> mixing it up. You ready? Your number one gemstone of the year. This was voted for as your favourite gemstone of 2015. Guess what? Labradorite, just been told, hold mm. the phone, didn't even feature in the top 10. No. Honestly, didn't even feature in the top 10 this year. Labradorite has won consistently, consecutively, all of the wow. years of our awards. Never, never has it been out of top spot, apart from now when it's not even in the top 10. No, it has surprised me. That is a surprise, yes. isn't it? Do we know what where what aquamarine features? Have we got the list there? Do we know what aquamarine features? It was in the top ten. Oh, okay. Six. Oh good. It was at Just six. Out the top it five, was then. six in okay. there. It was number six. Isn't there oh, any goodness. opal in there? Is there any no. Is oh. there any um spinel? Spinel was spinel. fifth. Uh, Fifth spinel. for Spinel, that's okay. a really good shout. Um, yeah. Okay, everyone, take a little look at this. Don't worry, I won't tell you the top four. You have to watch us back to find out the top four. But you can guarantee, um, you know that number one is Tanzanite. We know that it's not Labradorite, it's not in there. <laughs> no opal. Amethyst, where's that? Is that in there? No amethyst. That is a shocker. Absolute oh. shocker. Um, I have got for you here a gorgeous strand of Tanzanite. Um, Tanzanite, it's all right, gonna have a party. Stop it, who messaged that in? It's got to be Ben, hasn't it? It's got to be Ben. It's got to be. It's got to be. Oh, um, my gorgeous old director, Ben, um, who's coming back, but swapping with you, isn't he, Ryan? So, so with one hand they give, and with the other hand they take or take us away. Um, I like gorgeous Ben. Um, <laughs> it turns and I, it's all right. Take it to a party is something that he sings in my ear every single time we play Tanzanite. A little bit of behind the scenes <laughs> gossip there for you. Um, have a happy new year to you, Ben and Jody, and of course to Poppy Dad Boss. Hello, everybody. Hello, G texting in seventeen pounds and ninety-five for your Tanzanite. Loads of you messaging in on this one, um, and uh, loads of you uh, g getting your hands on this. So many texts in. It wasn't Ben who texted in, just someone who watches, because I always sing it. Cause always singing it. Um, well done to everybody. Just want to let you know that £17.95 for this is absolutely shocking. I think we all have a crush on Mark. <laughs> Love it. Um, there's loads here. Me too. We can make him blush. Who was that? <laughs> 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 it's loads 
it's here. I love it. I love it. Okay, everybody, £17.95 for you today. Are you ready for this? Um, if you want to get your hands on it, now is your opportunity. The clarity of which is phenomenal. Really, really beautiful indeed. Um, and, and I've got to say, real nice deepness and richness. As I was saying earlier, I've got to be very careful in what I say, and I cannot divulge too much at all. But what I will say to you is very, very, very um, rare gemstone right now and a very dire year of 2016 is perceived. Um, okay, I know another plot spoiler. I'm so sorry, but if you did miss the show, you knew it was taking place. Um, I'm really sorry, but um, Claire, guest designer, won the highly coveted uh, award of best design of the year for that gorgeous um, bird brooch that she did. She was at the vet. She just messaged in saying, hello, everyone. I'm at the vet uh, with Gunther and Gizmo. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. It says, um, I never thought for a moment I would win Best Design. I am so honoured and grateful. Claire, honestly, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon for you. I think you're going to be getting that trophy. You're also going to get the, the glass trophy, trophy as well to have a little look at too. Um, to everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm crying. I'm wow. so, so happy. Thank you and, and a happy, happy new year. Claire, you're an absolute angel. You really are. We completely and absolutely <laughs> adore you. We really do. Um, and just to say, um, you know, Claire, her design was absolutely stunning. And do feel free to get in touch with her on Facebook and just give her a big congratulations. Because, you know, she's going to have a name alongside the likes of Alice and Tarry and, and Gemma Crow and, and, and Rachel Norris. And she's been with us. How long has Claire been with us? About a year and a half. Mm. Not even that. About a year and a half. And she's been put... Oh, my gosh. Just... Mm, a superstar. You're right, a superstar, absolutely. Okie dokie, uh, well done everybody. Not a huge amount of these ones left. Um, read that one, uh, well done to you. Um, 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 just to let everybody know that so many of you have already um, got your hands on this. We have got multi-bidders. If you want it, do treat yourself to it now. Whilst you have the opportunity, um, because, um, like I say, you know, do have to be careful. But I have already mentioned, actually, um, um, uh, 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 you know, I have already mentioned that it is something very, very um, rare to get your hands on. And, and as we've said, uh, DVD, uh, DVD, mine D, sorry, is uh, running um, low indeed. Philip said, I, um, I'd rather have a crush on Becky. <laughs> <laughs> well. All right then. Um, <laughs> um, Seventeen ninety five on that one for you. You're gonna uh, make me blush now. But thankfully, I have so much makeup on, you wouldn't be able to tell. Um, hello to Jeanette. She says, "Mark should be hunk of the year." Look at him, look at him blushing. Okay, sorry. Where did you say? I know you did say ages ago, but numero cuatro, uno dos. Tre, quattro. <laughs> That's my Spanish dance. <sighs> Apparently. <laughs> do you know what? I did actually used to do a um, French dance, which used to be when I was in French class, apparently I accidentally sometimes did the shimmy. Um, my teacher sort of brought it to my attention on things such as bureau de change. <laughs> I would do that. I don't know why it just happened. Um, hello to Natalie. She says, hi, Becky and Mark. Um, can't believe mm. that Labradorite, uh, about Labradorite. I know, not even in the top ten. Missed Mark's first kit. Mark is my macrame inspiration. Love, oh, JM. Natalie you. in Germany. Natalie, have a wonderful new year. Enjoy it. Um, and uh, um, thank you very much for that message. Happy new year to you and your loved ones. Okie pokey, bringing you another little treat here. And actually, oh, hey, up. I've got a treat from Smiley Face Sandra. Um, this is a really nice um, design. Mm. I bet you love this colouring in particular, that color don't you? It's just beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. Very, very special strands here, I have to say. Ooh. Sky blue. And I mean, it is seriously sky blue, isn't it? Sky blue opal I've got for you here. No, I've never seen this before. Never seen this before. You have to come over here then. Never, ever, ever. You have I to come no, over I won't here. come over. I don't want to give you the Well, no, you're going to have to. You have to because I need to show you what Marley Opal does. I thought it was Amazonite from over there. Marley Opal, when mm -hmm. you hold it up, let me show you. Now, it depends which light you get it in, but look, you get pink oh, opalescence. Oh, yes. Can you see oh, that? Look, look. On the left hand side, yeah. 
just depends which if you get it in the right oh, light. This is beautiful. I've never seen this before. Do you like it? I love it. No, I love it. It's called Marley Opal. Uh-huh. That's exquisite. It's so special. Oh my goodness, I've got less than 30. Oh, um, do you wow. love it uh, with the pink as well, this the rose quartz? Perfect, perfect Fab, combination. Isn't it? Perfect wow. combination. Okay, everybody, you've got your chance to get your sky blue opal. I had some beautiful drops uh, yesterday that would go lovely with this. £9.95. Mm. That's just absolutely silly billy. It really, really, really is. Um, do come in and get these. Um, we'll last chance to loon in on this right here, right now. I'm going to have to move on really quickly. But, yeah, it's your Marley opal. The one I had on yesterday um, had a lot of pink opalescence. This one only has a slight tinge. Well, that's just because they're a smaller size. But it is still present. It is still there, and it's better in real life. Um, light sources. Um, oh. Hi Becky, love you Mark and that's from uh, Trisha <laughs> um, from City of Bristol. I like Bristol. I love Bristol. Yeah, I like Bristol. Oh, I've been to Bristol a good handful of times. Mm. Okay, where to? Because that one's sold out now by the looks of things. Now bring in, oh we were just talking about the rose um, colouring and I'm bringing you some rose gold now um, but I'm also bringing you some gold. Is that right? Rose gold. There are some um, gold pieces in here so i've got your rose gold collection of your head pins um what do you think of 95 rose gold please mark oh i don't think you can have anything else now really do you i mean all of my all of my earrings that i sell are all sterling silver in one form or another now without a doubt so to be able to have your head pins as well is perfect and for the gems of distinction strands that you need something slightly finer this is, this is a perfect because you know that sterling it. silver is slightly thinner isn't it than mm -hmm. your basic mm -hmm. Um, we did for you as one of our um, new ins for our award mm. show. We did the rose gold ninety five bracelet chains. We did a set mm. of five of them, um, and these would work perfectly. I mean, uh, almost um, unimaginably well with that chain. So if you bought that uh, collection of five chains, you know what to do. Pick up the phone. Oh eight hundred. I'm gonna try that old Lang Syme again. Okay, I'm going. Right, right, it goes. And uh, oh, I've got. Got to say, if our gracious queen in our head, totally different song. Hang on. How's it go? What about 0800 Yes! Nailed it! <laughs> Nailed it! Yeah, that's exactly yeah. how it goes. Perfect. Then, obviously, press option one. Um, <laughs> and you will be able to put in an order for this. Happy New Year to everybody. It's New Year's Eve, and we're going to be giving you some very special prizes. Becky, I have just received two of my sale parcels, wow. but I still have seven to come. Whoop, whoop. We should start seven. a Mark Smith pattern. Seven. Seven. Still to come. Oh, my word. But That's the amazing. deals were loop-de-loop, -loop, weren't they? Were. they? they? They were. They really okay. were. They really, yeah. really were. Thank you for that messaging. Okay, so many of you coming in mm. for this. There really, really, really is huge amount there. Happy New Year to you, gorgeous Becky. And that's from John. Oh, John, a wonderful Happy New Year to you as well, you love. Um, and I hope you have a really fabulous evening tonight. Um, has anyone got any cool plans tonight? Anyone got any cool plans? No? No, no, no. Mike's saying no. No. <laughs> Ryan, any cool plans tonight? Board games with the missus and the family. That's lovely, mm. that is. That's really sweet. Dee, what are you up to? House party for her son and all of his <laughs> mates. That is going to be a rowdy, rowdy night. You poor love. Um, loved the awards show. Mark, you should have won an award for the honk of JM. Becky should have won Beauty of the Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Love, Trudy in Devon. Oh, stop it, you. What are you like? <laughs> honk of the Year. Could you imagine? No. Oh, my goodness. Um, no. Thank you very much um, to you. And um, Happy New Year to you. Um, well done to everyone who got their hands on that one. Okay, everybody, we're rooming along. We got the rose gold version. I'm now bringing you the golden version again. It's 95 at the heart of this. 95 at the moment has gone bring up in, in the um, stakes of value. Tends to at this time of the year. It doesn't always, but it does tend to. Sort of mid November, the rise started to happen and, and it has shot up absolutely. And that is, um, um, you can have a little look at those graphs yourself. Um, obviously, I can't give you names of websites, but just type in, you know, um, a price of, of gold and you'll be able to see it changes every single day, changes quite dramatically on a week by week basis and obviously even more so on a month by month. It has shot up. So um, we should probably be following the crowd and kind of seeing that that influx has taken place and therefore following 
follow a trend. Not today. We're jewellery maker. Not ever. Your prize for it today for all of them. £4.95. <laughs> Mark your face. <laughs> That's really silly, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It is silly. Absolute corker of a prize point. Yeah. This is genuine gold over the top of this. Genuine real deal gold. Leanne. OMG, I'm sat here crying <laughs> again. My husband has just oh. come in with a bouquet of flowers to say well done on getting an award. <laughs> oh my gosh! Your oh. husband is lovely. How thoughtful is that? Oh, mm. that is so sweet. Leanne um, did win one of our word awards earlier on. Obviously, again, I don't want to... I don't want to, you know, uh, burst any bubbles or anything, but um, thank you so, so much, Anna. Well done to Leanne. Oh, gosh, the little love. Oh, well, you deserve them, Leanne. And don't forget, £50 credited your yeah. account as well. That's that trophy. Uh, Lena's saying, just me and my three cats at home for a quiet night in watching JM repeat. Lena, that sounds fantastic. And don't forget, if you get a little bit peckish or you want a special smell, Do you smell your cat's paws? I was on the show with you. Yeah, I remember. I think it was silly. <laughs> yeah, I remember. No, I don't, no. And I, did, and I didn't so go home. You didn't when you got it. home? No, I didn't. No. Honestly, are you sure? Yes. You wouldn't ever, would you? No. Oh, you're missing out on something very special. You really are. Mm. I've decided I might, for 2016, start a new fragrance, call it Popcorn Paws. Would you buy some? No. No, okay, cool. Um, Sarah's saying, house party with family, nothing else comes mm. close. Oh, Sarah, you're absolutely right. That is fantastic. Um, mm. uh, just a wonderful time of year, isn't it? It really, really is. Um, oh my, I haven't even decided what I'm doing. I know, ladies and gentlemen, it's a bit sad, really, isn't it? I haven't even decided what I'm doing. Uh, my mum and dad, um, it's their anniversary today, and um, they have gone to New York. So... Pretty selfish, uh, if you <laughs> ask me. <laughs> Lena's saying, oh, yay, I did that last night. Thank you, after watching the repeat. I love the smell of my kittens. And yes, pause popcorn. Now who looks silly, Mark? Mm, not convinced. Lena, mm. thank you very much for trying that out. And honestly, <laughs> it does. I actually had someone who messaged me um, on, on my Facebook and said, on my Rebecca Redican presenter, and said, um, Oh, just I'm um, 70 years old and I've never smelt my dog's paws and I just have. Front ones definitely smell like popcorn, back ones smell like wee. <laughs> 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 so, so I will just say it is mainly the front paws that, that smell like popcorn. <laughs> I will say that. Um, well done to everyone who's coming in and getting these really silly deal on these ones. And speaking of silly deals, how about we bring you a bit of sparkle with Estelle Vi? Bringing you a special star by now for our post awards party, and this one is your blue quartz long nugget. Mark, discuss. I just love them, I absolutely love them. I think Hannah Osborne did a late show with Ali just before Christmas, and she had a it might have been this strand or a strand very similar to this, and she made some amazing pieces with it. And um, I just love this, and I would buy three strands and do a big plaited. You know, um, multi-strand necklace with it because it just deserves it. I think it's beautiful. This is stunning. Look at that picture. It's just beautiful. It is spectacular, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. The way you get these yeah. shards, you get that kind of juxtaposition between the aspects of clarity and then that heavy sheen shine of the blue that's kind of um, cascading around certain areas of this. It really is something that is oh mm. so spectacular. You're going to get such an interest, such a detail, such an appeal with this. You truly are. And it's just, it can just be worn simply. Sorry, my microphone lead there. It can just be worn simply. 
properly, um, you know, as is realistically. Or you can go to town with it using individual ones, doing this kind of stalagmite and stalactite look. What about these with those kiss pearls I bought to you earlier on? I bought you the kiss pearls earlier on. These would go phenomenally well with them. The, um, the, the pearls that are shaped like the crosses, they go so well with them. Um, June saying, I made a centerpiece for my stall at Christmas with this strand. Mm. It was sold within minutes. It is stunning mixed with clear quartz. Yeah, I can believe that. I can well believe that. It's beautiful. Absolutely, June, and congratulations. I hope you've made a lot of sales over this time. Those with long pearls, lush, mm. Karen. Mm -hmm. Minds alike, completely agree with you. With those long pearls or the kiss pearls, these would be absolutely beautiful. Let's get your price in. Extremely popular today. We've had a very busy awards morning. We've just taken an extra pounds off for no other reason than, hey, why not? Blue Nuggets, six pounds and 95 pence. Lowest price on these ones. That is a great deal for you. Don't forget, everyone pays the same. Yes, even you is buying two. Um, you all get to pay that same price point, even when you came in instantly from the likes of Gorgeous Merseyside, the West Midlands, and Wrexham. You were the first three people in with me today. Um, and you, too, only have to spend six 95 on this which is a real sensational price point it truly truly is they sparkle they shine they would look gorgeous with hematite actually hematite will be yes. in the top 10 gemstones definitely here it is no yeah it was i knew it would be Oh, only just though, Hematite was in at number 10. In at number 10 oh. for your gemstone of the year. And 54 opportunities left now at this point. Six pounds and 95 pence. So, wow, Amazing. Hematite beating Labradorite. It's just mm. mind boggling, isn't it, really? Really is. Um, do treat yourself to these ones whilst you can. We had Emerald in ninth place today as well, to let you know. And mm. then Turquoise in eighth. Isn't it nice to let you know all these behind the scenes, you see? It, it, it's post-party. Post mm. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, do you know what? I should have guessed that, but I kind of forgot because we haven't seen it in a while. What number was that? Number seven, Ammonite. Ammonite? Yeah. We've had astonishing Ammonite in, haven't we, wow. actually? But obviously we've run out near it's Christmas, didn't we? So I kind of forgot. But yeah, of course, brilliant. Gosh. Loads and loads and loads and loads of more treats coming up for you today. Um, do check out those baskets on this one. Big amount of you coming in for this. And don't forget, it's interesting to know exactly what we've been buying this year and exactly what people have been voting for because that might actually help you if you are thinking mm. of starting your own business for the new year, if you're thinking of um, um, you know, starting your own workshops or, or, or pieces, um, stalls like that. It's great to know what is popular, isn't it? Karen says, I'm working tonight, so no party for me. But this morning, watching you all has been like a party for me. Love to you all and Happy New Year. Get better soon, Mark. And that's oh, from Karen. Karen, Karen mm, big you. Happy New Year. You're wonderful. You do get involved with us mm. um, a lot. Put it up to the neckline again. No problem at all. Ooh. Um, yeah, um, thank you very much for that, Karen. And, uh, you know, don't work too, too hard this evening. Um, and, and we adore you. Thank you so much for always getting in touch. What do you do, Karen? Can I be a right nosy mare? Oh, I'm so nosy, I can't help it. Can I be a right nosy? What do you do for a living, Karen? Do you mind? Do you mind me asking? Um, I'd love to know, because why are you working late? Why are you working at night? Um, bar, or maybe it works in a bar or a restaurant or a hotel or a nurse could be, something like that, couldn't it? Um, hello to Jack says, just me. Loads of polymer clay and <laughs> gems. That sounds Perfect. like a fantastic evening in. Hi, Jane. Organising a party for my... Now, is our best friend or boyfriend? Um, um, is flying back from L.A. We'll be, cook uh, we'll be cooking her at her house and awaiting other friends to join in celebrations. Jane, that sounds fantastic. So you're going to be cooking around at her house and then you're going to get everyone over. Hey, doing it at her house. <laughs> Clever! I see what you done. Oh no, it's all right. I'll come over and cook at your house. <laughs> You're a genius. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Okay, not a massive amount of those left. Okay, everybody. Box. Oh, I can't believe this wasn't in the top ten. I really, really can't. I think yeah. our amethyst this year has just been yeah. astonishing. Um, and this strand is no different. Wowzers! Take a little look. February's birthstone. It's just that around is the corner. So pink. Pardon? It's so pink. Do you love it? That's extraordinary. 
What do you like about this drum mark? This one in particular, there's, there's so much pink coming off it. You can't really see it from straight on. What about if you turn it, can you see it from there? Oh, a bit better. There's so much vivid pink coming from this end. It's fantastic, isn't it? Gosh. Totally natural, that as well. Really? Mm, mm, mm. Wow. We haven't treated it in any way whatsoever to bring those colours out, um, to bring any of those shades out. Totally and absolutely natural. It is a gemstone with so much history, tale, legend behind it, which I absolutely love and adore. Um, of course, you know, um, um, in the ancient Greeks, it was believed that um, it was Dionysus who um, essentially created this gemstone by being... Um, quite unfair to a young lady, Amethysos, and uh, essentially turning her into solid, uh, well no, he set the lions on her. Diana protected her by turning her into solid quartz, and then he goes, oh, error of my ways, what am I like? And then cries wine on her, and it turns it purple, and hence that's what the ancient Greeks used to believe Amethyst was coming from. Um, it is, um, yeah, quite wine, because Dionysus, he was the uh, god of partying, wasn't he? So, uh, well, of course he was. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's so much history, folklore, tale and interest around this gemstone. I just love it myself. I really do. February's birth zone, so not very long. Because um, by the time you get this, if you put an order in for this today, you'll get it kind of next week time, won't you? So we'll already be in early January. And then if you've got a birthday in February, you, you've, you've got two or three weeks to make with it, haven't you, for that special person? Or maybe you want to make Ryan something for his birthday at the end of January, because this is his star stone sign, or Kerry. Yeah, of course, it's her, it's her birthstone sign as well, isn't it? Um, you've got Amethyst faceted pairs, your prize point today on this one should be, <laughs> but we're going to roll it down. Do you know what? Uh, we're just having a little after show hour now for you, after show hour, and your prize point today, we're rolling it down to just £12.95. I wish the camera could pick up the pinks that I can see from here. They're extraordinary. Well, don't forget, you've got an extended yes. money back guarantee until the 31st of January today. So do get your hands on this whilst you can, because it really genuinely is an absolute deal. Darren says, hi all, happy new year. Sniffing, sniffed dog's paws, good, last night. And yes, smelled of biscuits. <laughs> get well soon, Mark. Big hugs and squidgy squeezes to all. <laughs> Thank you very much Thank for trying that out. And yeah, it's hard to describe, isn't it? It's like a warm, buttery, carbohydrate, mm. popcorn-y, biscuit-y smell. What is your dog? Golden Retriever. Okay, so I think Darren's got your little Yorkshire Terrier. Oh. So does it does it differ between breeds? <coughs> not as far as my research goes. Um, no, not as far as my research goes. Yeah. This. When you pop round to your mates and then they go, oh, can you, do you want anything? And you go, oh yeah, I'll have a coffee and a biscuit, please. Tell us what biscuits you've got. And then you hear them going through all the cupboards and you grab their dog and you go. <laughs> <laughs> Research, Mark. Research. Emily says, take away prezzo, oh, Italian, posh, um, PJs and DVD with the OH. Of a half. Other half, mm. oh, lingo. Um, loving the show today, both looking gorgeous. Emily, thank you so much for that. Have a really happy new year and um, enjoy your carbohydrates. Oh yeah, are you on the pizza? Are you on the pasta? Pasta pizza, <coughs> if you will. Um, I, li I like the sound of that actually, I would definitely have that. Spack bowl on a pizza? Whoa. Hello Kimberly. Becky, JM should have a mm. packaging award just opened my two parcels and they are packed so carefully by JM staff. I will sniff my Lakeland Terrier's paw. Please do and let me know what you think. Please do. Um, can I just mention, it's better if they've just woken up. So um, if you're having a little snooze, just just wait till they wake up and have a little sniff. Or if you're really <coughs> skillful, just <coughs> sniff while they sleep. Um, which is not a logo for a poster, is it? Uh, <laughs> so um, well done to everyone who got your hands on this. Thank you very much um, to you. And that's a really good point to make. I did say thank you to the call centre, but thank you to all of our warehouse and packet people who, who have helped us throughout the year, and we really couldn't do it without you. Where to, sorry? Jump rings. Now, our gorgeous Claire won uh, Design of the Year, yeah? And um, we did have DVD of the Year, actually, as well, um, that was won by... Fleur, won by Fleur, Fleur, for the DVD of the year. And this DVD, hang on, 
Stay there. Uh, this was from um, a Jump Rings DVD. And I tell you what, Jump Rings, all the more you can get, the amount you can get, the different colour ranges, the different sizes you can get, the better. So get your hands on treats like this whilst you can. And don't forget, we did bring that DVD to you earlier on. If you've never tried a uh, chain mail before, treat yourself. Why not? It's really, really up there in popularity at the moment. What I've got for you here is a selection of your Jump Rings. And these ones are your five mil. Don't forget for me, whenever I refer to a, a, a sizing on these I am referring to OD your ID on these ones is approximately looking at it approximately a four four point two let's say approximately um for you on these ones um, you've got all of that gorgeous gold wrapped around the top of these, perfect for the likes of your chainmail. But not just that, I mean, Mark, with your wire macrame workshop, I'm sure you could incorporate things like mm, this, couldn't you? It's brilliant. And for the goddess bracelet as well, which I did a show on last week. This would be absolutely perfect for the goddess bracelets. Yeah. Perfect idea to use in your goddess yeah. bracelets as well and um, for the size of them. Mm. It is real deal gold we've got over the top of these and lots of you coming through for them already. Um, your price point today for your post show hour is just £4.95. For that amount, truly, it would take you a lot of time to make these. It would be a lot of wastage to make these as well. And the fact of the matter is that with your five mils, um, you've got versatility there and it's relatively new that we've had the five mils on actually. It's one of our newer sizes, mm. isn't it? Mm. But you can make a stitch, you can just make your own chain, couldn't you? Completely simple. I'm loving this text, I'm sorry. Oh, go on, let me have a look. <laughs> Bernadette says, Mark, I'm with you. I don't like the smell of dogs or cats. It's not natural. I do like pets, not the smell. What? Mm. Really? What about, what about, <laughs> what about when, when they're having a little snooze and then you're like, uh, Dion's just made a very good point. Would you go around sniffing people's feet? Mm. Well, no. Mm. Well, well, actually, no. Well, I wouldn't go up to someone and go, oh, give us, a, give us a whiff of your foot. Oh, it smells like biscuits. No, I wouldn't say that. But people say, like, when they have children, their heads smell nice and stuff, mm. don't they? And their little hands and feet. I don't see, not that I'm comparing babies to, to puppies, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Dogs, babies, <laughs> um, well, yeah, I don't, don't see what's wrong with it. Um, sorry, Becky, I am still on Mark's side, not into dog paw sniffing. Oh, go on. Just give it a go one day. Obviously, you're, um, only your own dog or friend's dogs, <laughs> obviously. Dogs you find in the park. Maybe not mm. so much. Um, but honestly, give it a go. You're missing out. Come on, guys, you only live once. Give a paw a whiff, why don't you? Hello, Kimberly. Becky, Arthur smells of chocolate bourbons. Oh, woke him up especially for a sniff. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. It is, isn't it astonishing? And I will, I will admit to you from my research, it does smell slightly different when they've just woken up. It's stronger. You're thinking about it now, aren't you, Mark? I'm sure this is pheromones, which, which are to attract a, a mate. Maybe that's... Maybe, no, maybe it's something to do with, because mums and dads always go, oh, my baby smells amazing, but a baby to me just smells like any other baby, but it smells Tuck different to them. Smell, yeah. So maybe it's that. Mm. Not convinced. <laughs> Ryan agrees with me. Ryan, what did your dog's paws smell like when you give them a sniff the other day? What did they smell like? One popcorn. I'm not making this up. Maybe... Oh my gosh, maybe, maybe next year I could write a book about this. I could really do some research. I could though, couldn't I, Mark? Mm. Would you buy it? No. Okay. A documentary? <laughs> I could do a documentary <laughs> on it, but um, brilliant. Okay, got more <laughs> treats for you. 13. Oh, you'll like these ones, I think. Um, mm. I've got these spacers, but they're the cubed ones. I know oh, you've seen is. them before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, they're ace. What do you well, like are like the cogs? Are they, are they the cog almost. Types, are they, they're or? more faceted. Let me have a look. Are those ones? Oh, I haven't seen these. No, if you know, oh, I no. thought you had for some no. reason. No, 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 no. Well, what do you think of them? They're amazing. If you're going down the sort of steampunky contemporary look, they're quite good, aren't they? Nail on the head there, yeah. absolutely right. But actually, also a little bit of an ancient design. You know how Aztec people, yeah, yeah Aztec. Yeah. Mm. Um, oh, what's oh, what am I thinking of now? That that program that's based on a real time. It's a program based on a real time. 
Um, the sun walks around with a mallet thing. Um, Flintstones. It's like that, isn't it? Kind of prehistoric. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, you know what I mean? That kind of time. Yeah, Bam Bam, that's his name. <laughs> but it's that kind of look to it. But also, actually, for people who are doing reenactment jewellery, I imagine this will go down a real treat because it, it looks aged, it looks mm, old, it looks mm. like it could have been found somewhere, actually. Real deal, rose gold plated, 72 pieces. Are you going to miss me, Ryan? Ryan's leaving us. Leaving. He's going on the other shift side. It happens. It happens all the time. Are uh, you going to miss us all, Ryan? Maybe. That's the yeah. So I'll get to see more of Ryan then. Where are you normally on the other shift side? Yeah. Are more you? Than not, I think. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Well, yeah, you will then. Okay. You will. Mm. Um, okay, everyone, we're getting your prize point in here today. 72 for wow. just 6 95 What do you brilliant. think? That is, isn't it? That is a real special deal. And let me just hold up one of them for you, just to give you an idea of the drill hole size. I mean, it's absolutely massive. Mm. Absolutely Don't massive. Forget, don't forget the opal that you've got there. I think the, the combination's beautiful. You're totally right, in yeah. fact. Really, really right. Um, lovely. Uh, Sandra used this a similar colour mm. with the yeah. opal. Did sell out, though. Oops. The opal did. I think so. Yeah, it did. Right, right. But it would go great, wouldn't it? Will go great, wouldn't yeah. it? Uh, six pounds and ninety-five pence. Lots of you treating yourself to these. To let you know as well, there are six point five mil. <coughs> so on, Becky. Um, thank, think a big thanks to your camera crew in order. Clear, watchable pictures. And if anyone has watched some other craft channels, they will know exactly what I mean. Well done, guys. Brenda, I gave a big thank you to my whole team earlier on, but let's do it again. Let's go for thank you very much to Mike. Hello to Ryan. He's directing, showing us all the shapes. Thank you, Ryan. He's the one who's going. When are you going? What's your last day, Ryan? Tuesday. Time to... I won't sing. Um, thank you very much to Dion, who's bringing us some amazing prices and shapes as well. Now, is it Cass or is it Brother Pete? Cass or Brother Pete? Both of them. It's both of them! Brother Pete and Cass! Um, thank you to both of them too. Um, Happy New Year, Brother Pete! Happy New Year! What are you doing tonight, Brother Pete? Um, I'll be working! I'll be working! Yeah, but you finish at nine o'clock, yeah, Pete. Celebrating with my parents. It's celebrating yeah. with his parents, with our parents. Celebrating <laughs> with our parents. Um, um, brother Pete, yeah. is it is a is uh, uh, is um Jules coming over? Yeah. Jules is there, isn't she? Good old Jules. Of course she'll be there. Of course she will. Um, six ninety five for you on these ones. Well done to everybody. Um, loads of you coming in for this. Oh Lord, I don't have dogs, but my pet rat's fur smells delicious. The boys I can't describe other than warm and comforting and the girls smell flowery. Honestly, genuinely, there has to be a book in this. Can I copyright this right here, right now? Can I copyright this right here, right now? Because there's something in this, isn't there? And yeah, the, the feet smell like, it's like warming, isn't it? I haven't sniffed a rat, I'll be honest. I'll be totally honest. Totally honest. Okay, where are we at, please? Oh, we're going to some special star by. Honestly, I'm absolutely over the moon with this, I have to say. It's genuinely, truly sensational. You ready for this? Multicolored sapphire. The sparkle. It's the sparkle that does it, isn't it? It really is. Serious, serious sparkle on this one. Isn't that phenomenal? 
around about 95% of all sapphire in the market is treated and in fact that that figure looks as if it is going up only ever so slightly but the amount is going up most certainly the fact of the matter is this is in the top five percentile because ladies and gents this is natural which is astonishing for that amount of sp uh, sparkle of course it is because it is very very high up there on on the um, RI scale and um, this if you're planning on getting ready to for your gifts for um, 2016 this of course is a birthstone you've obviously got September's birth oh look at that sparkle but also you have got a um, wedding anniversary gift here it's classed as your fifth wedding anniversary your 70th anniversary as well and it's your 45th as well isn't it sapphire mm, i think so um so um you know you've got a lot of gift opportunities here and um, for any anniversaries or any um uh, birthdays coming up um, around that time of year you've got some serious serious sparkle on this and that is because of the way in which this gemstone is put together purely by mother nature as i said it's not treated whatsoever purely by mother nature and um, she's just giving it a really high reflective index and that means the light that hits a massive proportion goes right back to your eye. It gives you sparkle, it gives you interest, and boy, oh boy, that gives beauty, doesn't it? It gives you beauty and femininity uh, to the highest extreme. Actually, I can't think of a time I've seen um, such, such a high shine sparkle um, sapphire that hasn't been in our very, very high end range, you know, in the gold boxes, that type of thing. And even those, very, very small indeed. Um, because it is generally very difficult to get your hands on such a highly sparkling uh, sapphire such as this. Okay, everybody, let me give you a real deal. Um, um, a stunning strand, your wet, red, white, and blue sapphire um, in here, your price point today. <laughs> Should be. I know, I know, and don't forget, everybody pays the same price. Should have been £30, £24.95 for you. Have you seen the length of this? It's absolutely magnificent. I mean, take a look. It's huge. And even just from when I'm talking, I can tell. See, I knew it. I'm not excessively moving here. I'm purely just talking the same amount and the same way that I normally would, and I'm just sort of looking across the mouth. Look at how much that sparkles just from speaking, just from my natural body movements that I would naturally have. That is going to happen when 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 you know you're at a party when you're um, wearing this down just down to the shops at that price um, hello jane she says a jm studio my cat spartacus <laughs> sounds like popcorn i would never have believed until i just tried lol omg that sapphire is gorgeous love jane and a happy new year well, happy new year to you and to spartacus what a strong name for hey, a cat that is a strong name i like that Thank you very much for trying. I'm not making it up. I'm really not. Um, £24 and £95. Mark, I'd love your input on That's this. the size of the, of the stones more than anything. I mean, they're really substantial, aren't they? They are huge, actually, yeah. yeah. There's enough there for his and hers bracelet, isn't there? Oh, aye. Yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me, let me check. There's one bracelet right there. That's yeah. one. Oh, easily. Because there's, there's an equal amount of the stone colours, isn't there, on there? So you could do a his and hers. That'd be nice. That'd be really nice, actually. Mm. That'd be really pretty. You could even do the likes of um, um, kind of a, a really nice um, his, hers, and then maybe one for your daughter or mm. your son or yeah. you, you. You could do a whole family collection, couldn't you? They're beautiful. I really like that. Okay, it's so important that you check out the baskets on this. It is a low quantity opportunity, actually. Um, so please do get your hands on it because if you want serious sparkle, you've got it here. If you've got serious large sizes, then you've absolutely got it here. And also, another thing, if you're looking for one of the most statement of all gemstones, then you have absolutely got it here. This is one of the most famed gemstones in the world. I love the fact that if you wear the blue sapphire um, out, um, you know, people will know it's blue sapphire. Sapphire. It's probably one of those gemstones that people will actually go to you, oh, wow, is that sapphire? And you actually get to say yes, as opposed to those okay. slightly embarrassing moments when maybe you've got um, a another gemstone on that's maybe not quite as well known or not quite higher in price and you have to go, uh, no, actually, it's uh, so and so. And um, it's lovely to be able to bring the, you the real deal sapphire, but also really nice that you're able to wear the likes of the pink colours and those more um, gentler to tones and be able to say to people, oh yeah, do you know, that is sapphire. Because a lot of people won't know it comes in different colours. Sa fancy sapphire and your blue sapphire multicolour strand. $24.95. Money off that. Don't forget that price point will only last until 8 o'clock. Okay, next up, I'm bringing you... Was this in the top 10? Oh. 
da 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 Look at the scintillation. That is absolutely awe-inspiring on this strand of diamonds. Wow, wow, wow. If you want one of the high, most highly prestigious gemstones in the entire world and you want to get it for a sensational price, I genuinely, hand on heart, don't think you could be beating us this year. I really don't. The fact of the matter is, we've only recently bought diamond to you as a company really anyway. And this year's diamonds have absolutely blown quality and price out of the water. Our connections over the last sort of five years have grown and grown and grown and therefore the quality of our purchases have grown and grown and grown and be able to get this conflict-free diamond at such a stunning look and at such a stunning price has been an absolute privilege it really has every single time i show a diamond i have a smile on my face because i just feel absolutely over the moon to be able to bring this to you now i have to let you know i've got low stock opportunity on this one okay um because as you can imagine diamonds are just always popular always so popular um, I'm going to give you a stunning stunning opportunity right now 160 pounds is sensational for four carats worth of diamonds at this quality it just purely is but I've taken a huge chunk of money off this for you. I know, I know, I know. We've been really, really mischievous on this. I've taken it to 99 pounds and 95 pence. But you know what? Realistically, what a fantastic way to set your new year off with a sparkle. And think about it this way. We've just saved you. What was it? We saved you. 60, 60 pounds we've just saved you. Okay. So I've saved you 60 pounds. Think about it this way. Um, this could quite easily be your year's worth of gifts, couldn't it? For diamonds, for your loved one, 2016, look, you could do these ones here and the other side, you know, a pair of earrings for, um, you know, your mum's um, 60th birthday, let's say, because that's a good enough gift, isn't it? A pair of diamond earrings with six on. Um, you could do maybe your niece um, a necklace. You could do um, maybe um, one of the boys in your in your family is going to graduate this year. You've got some there for a gent's design there. Um, maybe you've got one for your best friend's um, anniversary they're going to be having. Maybe there's just someone who's, who's you you don't know yet but they're just gonna have a bit of a tough year and you're just gonna want to give them something very simple and special using a couple of diamonds on that you've got those sorted what about your best friend have you got a best friend gift sorted out because you have now haven't you they don't have to know you've got 60 pounds off this at all do they Um, your partner um, you've got what you know what for that price point for the amount you've got you could even give one to your postie couldn't you for lugging all of your jewelry maker gifts up the road every single week yeah why not because um, the amount you get what would Mark do with the diamonds I think they have to be stud earrings wouldn't it just stud earrings would they fit into the ring them into the ring mounts that we've been doing as well possibly maybe make a little cluster inside the ring mount that would be nice but I, I just think just black diamonds I'd wear black diamonds I think Let's see why not no, and how would you make them into stud earrings you could uh, use the, the featherweight head pins to make the actual post maybe and then do a sort of I've seen some of their guest designers do a sort of a, a fancy wire encasing around the stone which then goes through the ear you may have to get a, a special butterfly back or something you can get the plastic ones can't you that yeah. have a lot finer hole mm. maybe but I think that I wouldn't do anything with them if it was me I would just keep them that's fab. That thank you box. very much. Yeah. Thank you for your text in. Okie pokey, massive chunk of money off there. Uh, okay, you've got your special um, gemstones now. I'm going to bring you Matrix Box with some sterling silver earrings as we talk about earrings. Now, earrings um, mm. are big seller for you, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Massive. Well, why do you think that is? Because they're, they're, they're a really good little pocket money price. So I always make sure that if every piece of jewellery that I make, I always make a couple of pairs of matching earrings to match one pair that you keep on your stall and the other that you keep to one side because it's you know that the law you know that law that always happens yeah that somebody Doss's will law yeah mm -hmm. and somebody will want to buy a necklace ask me for the earrings and I won't have the matching so they'll they'll buy something else or they'll go and look elsewhere so yeah. always make sure that you make two pairs one for your ordinary selling and then the other pair to go behind your stall that you can produce and if you think it's going to it's going to waive the sale 
you can use those as a, as a selling tool. You can, you can offer them complimentary if they buy the necklace. I like that idea yeah. a lot. See, there's a lot of things yes, you can do with yes. these. These are all the designs that I'm going to hold up for you now. Can I just let you know that you're going to be getting two pairs of each. There's 10 Gosh. grams worth of precious metal in this, all in all. And they're designs that you wouldn't have seen anywhere else apart from here in some instances. So here are some of them for you. I'm just going to get the designs out so you can see them. So, for example, you've got ones with the twirl detail and the double loop. You've got ones with um, um, your double ball detail. You've got some, I love those ones. They're fab, aren't they? Really pretty indeed. You've even got, for your special gemstones, like um, your sapphires, look, the lock detail, so you know that once they're in your ear, boy, oh, boy, they're in your ear. And look, you even have the really quirky detail ones. You'll get in two pairs of each and you get the matrix box included within this opportunity for you here today okay everybody let's get that price point in shall we 17 pounds 95 pence for 10 grams worth of precious metal and look at all the detail and design features we've got within here that's working out about one pound 12 pence per pair gosh what do you think of that that's real no, no, that's, that's really good. And you get little um, anti-tarnish tags in there as well, do you? Mm -hmm. yeah. You do indeed, eh? Yeah. I think that's astonishing. I mean, how much would sterling silver earrings, in particular tw twerky, you know, quirky details and twirls like this, and the lock ones with, mm. with a simple gemstone on, how much would they be per pair? Five pounds. Five pounds? Yeah. Sterling silver. Gosh, how good you are. Mm. How good you are. Yeah. You're cheaper than those catalogue stores, and they're, yeah. they're renowned yeah. for being super duper cheap. Um, mm. But yeah, even at five pounds, the opportunity there to make 16 pairs, it's a mammoth amount of money, isn't it? I didn't realise I had this in the show today. Um, I've got something special here for you now. I've only got one left. Oh, I've got a few. This is your last item. Sorry, that's what we mean by last one. It's like, wait, we've only got one of these, but they're going to love them. Um, we've only got one of this, um, one item left for you for our um, Jewelry Maker Award show today. And this is your final treat. It is one of the most magical gemstones in the world, I have to say. Colour change garnet. This is absolutely sensational. Now, colour change garnet, what is it? All right, very, very simple. It does what it says on the tin. It literally changes colour. Literally changes colour under different lighting sources. If you look at it in this kind of colour here, you're going to be getting more of that kind of... It's almost a green tone, isn't it? It's almost a green to a brown tone that you have here. That's only because of the lights in here. They are a faux light. They are a fluorescent light that we have in here. Look at this in UV. Look at this in your natural um, daylight. Even look at it in your incandescent and look at it in your candlelight. And the colour literally changes it becomes more of a deeper kind of fiery tone it becomes more of a rich rich red tone that you get with this and it literally does change color um, a lot of you will know um, of Steve Bennett um, he was on the show with myself and Mark actually relatively mm. recently um, and um, the first time you know, he has loved gemstones for, for quite a few years now um, and he has enjoyed um, collecting gemstones for quite a few years now. When he first saw Colour Change Garnet a few years ago um, he actually asked the person who was showing it to him who was a miner who had taken it out of the ground um, he just changed the two lights and he actually said go on tell us how you've done that. Tell us how you've done it, go on, because he genuinely did not believe that that was a naturally occurring occurrence, but it is, and you've got your chance to get it. Extremely rare gemstone, £24.95. I've got to say, what a way to end 2015 for me with a bang like this, because this gemstone truly is very, very magical indeed. Thank you very much, Mark, for joining us today. It's been, it's been great. It's been yeah, great. It just like to take this opportunity to wish everyone a, a very happy new year, and um, thank you for your support thank and you. kindness this year. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much for joining us, Mark, Pleasure. as always. More of Mark next year. And um, thank you mm. very much, just in our last 10 seconds now, um, to say thank you very, very much for joining myself and Mark today. We've honestly had a yeah, whale been of great. a time. Thank it's you. been so much fun. Thank you for all of your votes. And um, have a wonderful New Year's Eve. And I wish every single one of you so much love for all of your support. I really appreciate all your kind words. Have a wonderful New Year's Eve. And I'll see you 2016. Bye.
Join resident designer Sheila for our bridal headwear for beginners DVD. Sheila will guide you through an array of beautiful bridal designs including a pearl tiara, the star hair comb, a twisted spiral tiara and much more. This DVD is packed full of inspiration and helpful hints and tips. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Did you know that if you go to JewelryMaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Spinel is a historically important gemstone. It is often located in the same gravel beds as things like corundum, so your rubies and sapphires. Because it comes in the same colours, blues and reds, it's often mistaken as a sapphire. Now, this isn't to the detriment of spinel itself. It has its own important qualities, such as great RI, so it's very, very reflective, and great dispersion as well. So it shows a lot of fire as the light hits the stone. From um, a historical point of view, um, one of the main important spinels actually sits in the crown jewels and this was for a long time believed to be a ruby but recent genealogical testing has found the Prince's Ruby is actually a spinel. Good afternoon, welcome to Jewelry Maker. Happy New Year's Eve! Where's the drink? I was promised, I was promised bubbles if I worked New Year's Eve. Yeah? Have we got any bubbles, Mike? No. Oh, yeah, no, no bubbles. Unbelievable, Angela. Where's I'm the so party sorry. poppers? That's <laughs> what I want to know. I don't know, I did mean to bring the party poppers. <laughs> Completely forgot. I'm sorry. Really, really sorry. Got balloons though. Yeah, we'll have to pop them later. <laughs> yeah! And Angela thought she'd turn up 31st of December, first show of the month. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. Well, actually, I've come here for a rest. Oh, have you? <laughs> I've been so busy over Christmas in the run-up to Christmas with all my sales events oh. and then eating and partying over Christmas. Eating. It's a bit of a rest today. We've done a lot of eating, haven't we? I think, I think all together as a team, collectively, we've eaten a lot of food. I'm sick of the sight of food, I've got to be honest. I'm absolutely sick of the sight of food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Still can't stop eating though. Chocolate! <laughs> um, welcome to Jewelry Maker, by the way. I'm Hannah Stewart, taking you through it until 5 o'clock this afternoon. Joined by the gorgeous lady that is Angela Edwards, or the party animal that is I Angela am. Edwards. I, I am in say. the party mood today. Yeah, it's funny that, isn't it? <laughs> New Year's Eve, we were all discussing what we were doing in the office. Now, I know my friends aren't going to be watching, so it's safe to say, and I, can, I can say, that I'm hoping that they'll cancel. <laughs> 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 you know, when you're just like, well, I can take it or leave it, New Year's Eve. Um, but either way, we'll be having a few sherbets, I'm sure. Um, we have so many treats coming up for you today. The kits are incredible. 
Um, Angela, the one strand I can see it from here um, that you've got in the kit over there is just beautiful. You will love, love, love it. I have today the brand new, have you seen them? The brand no. new price tags. Oh. Mm. Now, Angela is uh, a, bit, a bit of a pro with your business. Um, your business ideas and uh, you do the workshops uh, yeah. for business don't you so anybody that has craft stalls craft fairs always thinking of opening a shop Angela's the person to ask any questions any legalities she's your girl she's got a book full of law <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah so you've got today just for you the brand new price tax mm -hmm. so you know um, they're specifically for craft stores it's funny because Scott was trying to describe them to me yesterday the little cubes, the little oh. clue, cubes, cubes that you would have. Thanks, Cassie's like, there they are! <laughs> She's Here on the they are. <laughs> These are what I mean. These are exactly what I mean. So you've got your cubes here, your pricing tags, brand new pricing tags, Angela, just for you today. Oh, well, I've never seen those before, but I know. what an amazing idea. Isn't it great? Why do you not like think about it? I know, it's one of those, isn't it? Say if you're writing all your little tags out on your craft stall, Wow. You've got these. And there's a lot of them here as well. That's an expensive piece of jewellery, isn't it? What what even it what even is that figure? Is that like millions? 123 wow. million, 456,000. <laughs> is it a trillion? I don't know. There's no point asking me, is there? You're asking me, seriously? Um, these are coming up for you a little bit later on. They are brand new. I've got solid sterling silver wire. Yes, meter of solid sterling silver wire. I've got um, 95 bracelets that are gold plated. I have pink spinel, pink spinel. I have blue zircon for you today. Who's seen a strand of blue zircon ever? Nobody. I've never seen a strand. I've only ever seen blue zircon set into jewellery before. Incredible strand coming up for you a little bit later on. Lots of 925 incredible kits. Where should we start then, Toby? Of course. Um, a class for you. Have a look at this. Really, really high end this is. Don't think this has been seen before. Just double check that for you. How pretty is this? So high end. If you have any of the 95 um, bracelets, or even if you've got chains, so you're going to turn them into bracelets and you want a really fancy connector, a really fancy connector for you, then come in for this. How beautiful is this? And the fact that this is black spinel as well, it's going to go with absolutely everything, isn't it? So whatever strand of gemstones you have, whether it be the strand of black spinel that I've got coming up for you later on, whether it be the white topaz that we had yesterday, um, star by that we had yesterday, you double tall topaz. How pretty does that look? And it's too good to hide as well. It's going to have to be a feature, isn't it? You've got 75 points of your black spinel there. Beautiful, round shape, brilliant kept black spinel in the centre there. In your solid 925 box clasp there. It's so really, really easy to open and close. You've just got that little tongue in box fastening there that clicks in very, very securely. So that will hold some weight to it as well. And that's a big solitaire that you've got there as well. 15 by 9 millimetres in size. And your gemstone there is 6 millimetres in size. I'm just going to pinch this strand here, which is from the kit that's coming up for you. You could use this strand, couldn't you? That look. With any strand, any strand whatsoever, that's going to look gorgeous. 0800 655. Lots of you multiplying collection. Essex, you've got three. Kathy and Cheshire, you've got two. Teresa in Devon, you've got two. Belinda in Buckinghamshire, you've got two. Well done to you. There is nothing to stop you multiplying. If you want to come in and you want to get lots and lots of these, please feel free to do so. Meter of 925 sterling silver chain. Yes, please. Have a look at this. Just taking just the chain. No gemstones, just the length of 925 chain. Popping your clasp in the centre there as well. You've got a beautiful black spinel bracelet. How pretty is this? It's absolutely gorgeous. And do you know what? Whatever you put it with, mm -hmm. it's going to add such value well, it just? to your pieces. Because yeah. I'm looking at that and straight away I see quality. Mm -hmm. The quality and the thickness and the amount of sterling silver yeah. in it. But also the facet on the um, spinel, it's 
That's Gorgeous. a gem quality gemstone it is, that you've got there, isn't without it? Without a doubt. Gem quality in a lot of silver there as well. And as Angela said, that's going to add a lot of value to any piece of jewellery because of that substantial amount of silver and because of your black spinel that you've got there as well. So many of you have got twos. There's less than 10 left. I'm not surprised. Do you know what? I genuinely thought this was at least 12.95. At least 12.95. We're at six pounds and 95 pence. That's incredible. We're gonna have to move on. Uh, apologies if you did miss out on that one. Oh my gosh. Okay, some opal for you. Opal bundle. Any bundle, we're going to save you as much money as we can on the bundles and the kits. You've got some beautiful opal here. I managed to um, borrow, let's say, a pair of opal earrings yesterday that are the gorgeous Debbie Bulford made. And an opal bracelet. Have a look at these three strands. Wow. Look at this. You know, I really hope this comes across on screen. Ethiopian opal you have here with the most magnificent play of colour. You've got greens, you've got reds, you've got oranges in there, you've got blues, you've got ultraviolet hues coming from within the opal there. You've got three strands, you've got two strands of your Ethiopian opal and one strand of your Australian opal there as well. So I'm just going to separate these out for you just a second um, so you can tell which one's which. So this is the Australian opal that we've got here and then you've got two strands of Ethiopian opal. Now I just want to take this strand for you, very technical term, cupping. I'm just going to try and shadow out some of the light in the studio so you can see some of the play of colour that's coming from the opal because there's so much and it's really really difficult to get across on screen because of all the studio lights. In a nugget strand you wouldn't necessarily expect all of this colour but you certainly have it there, it's fantastic. Do get these home, you've got your extended money back guarantee, I say extended now, it's actually 30 days now isn't it pretty much. 30 day money back guarantee, 31st of January next year, next year. And uh, you've got 30 days to think about it. That, you know, if you get these home and you think, do you know what, I'm probably not going to use them or, or there's nothing that really goes with them that I've got in my stash send them back. Ethiopian opal for me. It's a collector's gemstone because you've got that fantastic play of colour there as well. You've got three strands, 230 carats in total. 230 carats for your tree of life designs. You know, um, beautiful tree of life designs. Your chips and nuggets are great for memory wire bracelets as well, cluster earrings. They're great for elasticated rings as well. They look stunning. What do you use your chips and nuggets for, Angela? Well, I like to pop them in resin. Oh, I like that. Um, and mm. I've done that before, more, especially with Ethiopi Ethiopian opal. The resin actually intensifies. It does, the doesn't it? Not that it needs it intensifying. It almost magnifies it, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and you can get some beautiful effects and looks yeah. with it positioned in, mm. in in resin. But yeah, you know, also if you're selling and you know you're thinking about next year, yeah, then all you need is a couple of pieces, a couple of chips on a head pen in the yeah. design and you that know you're well in you're yeah. gonna get absolutely loads of pieces from that from wouldn't that you just there's so much there. i mean we've got three strands but essentially they're double strands each one being 84 centimeters in length there 0800 644 655 30 pounds and 85 pence is where we should be but for all of those that have checked out already guess what i'm gonna go even lower and nobody pays any more than anybody else you will all only ever pay the final low closing price tag today that's just 24 pounds and 95 pence for three double strands that you have there bmgc17 is your code for this one uh, linda well done to you sandra you're in congratulations and you're there as well you've got yours lillian collector in bedfordshire you've just joined me it's really really busy Sheila in Derbyshire, Belinda in Buckinghamshire, Kay in Cardiff, uh, lots and lots of you there. I've got a star by coming up at quarter past the hour, we're just five minutes away. Is it the chains? Chain, chain, chain. 9.25, gold plated. Have a look at these. Now I've got five of these. They are the bracelet chains. You will get five. They are 9.25 sterling silver. And they are gold plated as well. Ooh. Cheeky, cheeky price tag. You've got five bracelets here. 
Gold places, 925. Coming up for you in less than five minutes. Love those. Okay. Let's have a look at some lemon pearls. Now, we had some lemon pearls yesterday, and they were really, really popular. These are beautiful. Have a look at these. Wow. Do you know, the, the great thing, I think, about genuine pearls is the weight of them. You can really feel a substantial weight. The more you handle genuine pearls, and you get to know your synthetics as well, you will um, you'll come to realise when you are handling genuine pearls, the real deal, because there is a significant weight there. And actually, if you do have a crystal, it's the only time that I would tell you to have a synthetic gemstone is to have some synthetic pearls on your craft store so that you can educate your customers as well because there is a significant difference between the two. The first one for me that I always notice is the weight difference. So genuine pearls, they have a, um, a more substantial weight to them than your genuine pearls. Also, if you rub them together, you will get a gritty sensation with your genuine pearls. You can do that on your teeth as well if you wish to do so. These are the real deal. Now, they're 8 by 7 millimetres in size, which is a substantial size for genuine pearls. Now, there are three things that we take into consideration when it comes to valuing pearls. One is roundness, uh, one is pearlescence, and one is size. We can definitely tick the size box here. We are looking at over 7 millimetres in size. Roundness, there's a millimetre in it. You know, we all know that perfectly round pearls will command a higher price tag. And pearlescence, big tick. Look at the pearlescence here. Gorgeous golden hues, beautiful lemon hues here. Going forward again into bridal season, the spring and the summer next year, these would be perfect, wouldn't they, Angela? Yeah. And I would always say, get them in now. Yeah. Because lots of people have got engaged at Christmas. Oh. And straight away you mm. know probably from the first week or so yeah. in january we're going to be having bridal mm. fairs yeah brides are going to be out looking for you Definitely. know for bridal pieces yeah. so if you have these in now it's a great opportunity to be able to create your samples and to Definitely. show your bride yeah. what you're able to make yeah. and also the color palette that you can mm. offer. Of course. Well, crafters do plan well in advance, as Absolutely. do brides to be as well, you know, sometimes years in advance. So it's always great to have these on your crystal. It doesn't have to be bridal jewelry, of course. If you just want, if you've always wanted to own um, that classic mm. strand of pearls, this could be the one for you. Anywhere else, if you were looking to buy a strand of pearls, what kind of price tags do you think you could be paying? We did a survey, oh gosh, it's got to be at least six months ago now. I say a survey, it was just a text in <laughs> while we were on air. We just said, wherever you live, if you know how much a strand of pearls would be in your local high street jeweller or maybe in your boutique jeweller, just let us know. We had prices ranging from £400 all the way up to £3,000. Do get them valued as well really important to get your jewellery valued no matter what the gemstone is we've had some incredible valuations for example a lady that bought a strand of white pearls 19.95 is what she paid she restranded them added a solid sterling silver clasp and had them valued at 495 pounds yeah yeah it, it really doesn't surprise it's me it's win-win isn't it <laughs> all the way win-win all the way victoria and kent you've got two well done to you nine pounds and 95 pence for genuine pearls two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty there's about 60 pearls you've got on that strand there earrings solid selling silver findings 20 pounds a pair just that yeah. incredible well done if you manage to get those um it's time for you to start by Welcome back, it's time for your store. I was just saying, we need some party poppers. If anyone's going out on a break, <laughs> if you could go to Irish shop and go to some party poppers, that would be great. It's the best thing about New Year's Eve, I think, party poppers. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. It's the mess afterwards, though, isn't it? The aftermath. January the 1st. Have a look at these. These are so high-end. Now, how many do we have, Toby? Mm. It's not going to be enough. <laughs> 52 chances is not going to be enough for what you have here. These are so, so high-end. 
do you know what you wouldn't have to do anything with these you could simply get these home and resell them on as they are if you wanted to entirely up to you maybe for yourself gift ideas as well your beautiful bracelet chains you've got here they're stunning aren't they 17 centimeters uh, 17 centimeters with a three centimeter extender chain so that will take it up to eight inches eight inches in length though complete with your loss of claw fastening so you don't need to do anything if you don't want to just as they are what a gorgeous gift idea oh, beautiful beautiful you know straight away I'm thinking bridesmaids gifts yeah um, but also well at the start of the year you've got a whole year of gift giving for Birthdays. your family friends yeah birthdays <laughs> anniversaries you know get mm -hmm. these in and you know you've got them throughout the year that's it isn't it you've got to grab these deals while you can as well and to be honest the price tag that we're going down to for five of these in fact, I challenge you to go and have a look, see if you can find one of them on the high street at the price tag we're going down to for five. Loads and loads of you multi-buying. Belinda in Buckinghamshire has four. Diana in Greater London has three of these already. In fact, you've got the perfect chain here. If you could pop a charm on there, no problem mm. at all. If you've got a lobster claw fastening, that would go around the whole chain. You could pop your charm on there if you wanted to. You could wire wrap through one of those links and put the charm on there if you wanted to as well. I like them just as they are. Yeah. What is very on trend at the moment, actually, is stacking and racking so if you wanted to wear maybe three of these together you get a lovely layered up look yeah that's what I personally will do yeah I, I love that whole delicate yeah. look but stacked and layered yeah, so it gives too. you a chunky look mm -hmm. and I would just wear all five together yeah with a charm on the end oh, I love that yes I love that idea do you know if everybody checks out right now they're gone so you're going to have to be really, really quick. Telephone bidders, just push your number one button. We are going down £17.95. Wow. There's five of them here. They are gold-plated as well. 925 gold-plated. That's unbelievable value, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. And there's no reason why you couldn't actually link them all together yeah. to create a necklace. Of course, you so could. That's yeah. another nice idea. That would look fab, actually, wouldn't it? We've seen that done before. It does look really, really designer. I love these. I'm not going to get one now, or five even. You've got five. So actually, uh, for somebody that is checking out three there, that's 15 bracelets mm. you've got. You know, if you just want 14 instead, I'll take one off your hands, no problem at all. They're fantastic. Look how well made, look how substantial they are. You can see how much silver there is in each one there. They are really, really substantial. So mm. well made as well. And look how high the quality is. Beautiful, Leslie, you've got there, 17 95 incredible. I've got about 30 of you with these in baskets right now. And uh, about 10 left, I think. Yikes, are you? VV37 is your code for this one, at just £17.95. If you do have a phone in your hand, just press your number one button, get through to the call centre as soon as you can to confirm. You could do it. Webers, I can't gamble. Well, you're definitely not all going to do it. It's, it's a case of fastest fingers first right now, so good luck indeed with those. Right, let's have a look at the first kit. There are so many components to this kit. These are fab. Findings, gemstones. Look at these little spacer beads. I love these. These are fantastic. And there's so many there. Faceted beads as well to give you that extra luster there as well. Aren't they pretty? You see how they're faceted to give you that extra luster? The light just bounces off these. You have... 195 pieces of your silver flash copper faceted cubes here two and a half millimeters in size these will work great as spacers won't they you know if you've got some gemstones that you perhaps want to make go that little bit further pop these in between they'll look fantastic in fact if i just bring you one of the strands so you can see what they'd look like just popping one, even two of those in, entirely up to you. 195 pieces you've got in total there. So they really will go a long, long way. You've got 150 carats of your clear quartz here as well. I love, 
this kind of gemstone and this kind of size a uh, uh, faceted round always makes me think 1920s always makes me think vintage glamour i love these and actually these alongside the green amethyst there as well very very vintage indeed you've got a huge carrot right there 150 carats of your clear quartz and you've got 52 carats of your green amethyst there as well graduated faceted rounds in your green amethyst they're five to six millimeters in size they have been graduated 17 centimeter strand and your clear quartz there eight millimeter rounds eight millimeter faceted rounds you've then got 165 carats of these beautiful drops here silver colored coated hematite drops they're 12 by 6 millimeters in size and that is a 36 centimeter strand great variety of gemstones you've got here that's going to pretty much work with everything you know your clear gemstones and your white gemstones i'm always saying for me personally they are essentials in your stash because there isn't anything that they won't go with i mean these especially perfect size yeah. perfect color faceted as well they'd go gorgeous with the pearls that we've just had yeah. put them with your pearls also i'm thinking the um the spinel clasp yeah how gorgeous that would look wow that would look Stunning. incredible wouldn't it that'd look beautiful your green amethyst there it's going to work with your white quartz as well but also how many of you have amethyst in your stash already your purple amethyst they go hand in hand don't they the green and the purple amethyst together they look fantastic and your hematite here as well again there isn't anything that you can put those with you know just a couple of those on their own in a pair of earrings will look fab especially for tonight if you've already got some hematite in your stash they're fabulous i love those big carat weight of your gemstones you've got your threading essentials here which include your monofilament your clear elastic and your silver colored beading thread so you have oh i don't have the breakdown of, of each of those i can't quite remember if you've got the breakdown there toby at all of the meterage, if you like. I think it's, I should remember this. Is it 72 meters of worn? <laughs> we'll have a look at that and come back to them. Um, the, you've then got 90 pieces in your findings pack. That's a lot of findings, absolute essentials. Maybe you're brand new to us here at Jewelry Maker and you're thinking, where do I start? Where on earth do I start? Do you know what? A kit would be a great place to start because you've got lots of comp uh, components here. You've got some findings, you've got some threading materials, and you've got some gemstones here as well. So you could be well on your way to making earrings. Um, you could be making beautiful rings with these as well, bracelets, necklaces. In the findings pack, look at this chain. Now, I noticed your earrings earlier on, our Angela. Did you use this chain? <laughs> I did. You weren't supposed to notice, but yeah, I did. <laughs> you can't yeah. make earrings like that and say you're not supposed. You weren't supposed to notice. Yeah, yeah. Use the chain and also wow. the bracelet. Isn't? Do you know those earrings? I noticed them as soon as I started talking to you earlier on, and I thought in my head, I thought, oh, that looks like the chain that we had yesterday because we had some chain yesterday. The great thing about this chain is because the links are really sizable and the surface of those links is, is quite flat. You get this incredible luster. Look at those, just bouncing off. And that is exactly what yeah. caught my eye yeah. with uh, Alison's earrings. And all you've Angela. done with those there is, yeah. is added... Um, yeah, is added amethyst. a gem on the end. Yeah. And you get this... Impact. But as you say, the, the imp sometimes I think we underestimate our findings pack because Definitely. you know we get them all the time and they're in the kits and yeah you know, sometimes we can overlook them but seriously the quality of um the finding pack is great and so i've made the, a bracelet yeah. just with the chain and the clasp and you get that gorgeous layered look yeah with it so on trend and with that clasp as well that's i love that design angela love 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 that design have a look at these head pins that you've got in this pack as well i've never i don't think i've ever seen these head pins before me personally anyway not saying that we haven't had them but look at these head pins aren't they really decorative they're beautiful they're gorgeous. You've got head pins in here. You've got a brush toggle clasp, heart shaped toggle clasp. You've got the fancy toggle clasp that we've just seen um, on the bracelet of Angela's over there. You've got these fab spacers which match perfectly with the head pins that I've just shown you as well. Have a look at these. You've got crimps, you've got crimp covers, you've got shepherd's hooks in there, you've got your featherweight head pins as well. 90 pieces in total. These finding packs are brilliant because they really do go a long way, don't they? They do. They do. And, you know, 
if you're um, wanting to start out making yeah. jewellery, this is your core essentials. Yeah. It's got everything that you need to make your pieces um, and give them that quality finish so that mm -hmm. they fit together. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's really important, it whether is. you're making for yourself or whether you're selling your jewellery on. Exactly. You know, and you've got the benefit of the gems, yeah. but even if you didn't want to use the gems or you wanted just to create your jewellery from the finding pack, you could do that. So it's mm -hmm. a perfect combination. It really is, isn't it? It's a fantastic place to start. Also, if you are brand new and you're coming in for the kit today, thinking, yeah, actually, I'm going to get this kit. I've got um, the starter tool kit coming up for you a little bit later on. The large tool kit coming up for you as well. So if you are brand new here at Jewelry Maker, you've got your kit here. You've got some essential pieces to get you on your way. I'm going to bring you the tool kit a little bit later on as well, which you will need. SGG C61 is your code for this one. Should be price tag today at £44 and 20 pence already incredible price tag uh, at 44 pounds and 20 pence that's brilliant for the gemstones that you have here the work that's gone into the gemstones alone with the faceting and everything else 24 pounds and 95 pence giving jewellery away here at Jewellery Maker. That's what we're doing, New Year's Eve. Do you know what I love? Angela said to me earlier on, we're talking about New Year's Eve, and she said what she does on New Year's Eve at 12 o'clock. I love this. I'm so doing this tonight. Angela goes to the door and just opens the door. She lets the old year out and lets the new year in. Uh, your son thinks you're bonkers, doesn't he? I he love does. It. He does. He's like, oh, you know, Mum, you're What are you doing, me. Mum? <laughs> you're letting your cold day shut the door. <laughs> yeah, we do it to the back door and the front door. Oh. And welcome in the new year in. I love yeah. I'm doing that tonight. I'm going to see if it works. <laughs> Did you know, it brings me any, you know, luck or anything in, in 2016. Yeah. Bring that old, energy Old year in. out the back door, new year in the front door. <laughs> yes, tell you. <laughs> uh, well done, Zena in Greater London. You've got two of these. Do you know, again, if you want to come in and you want to buy a couple of the kits, please feel free to do so. There's nothing to stop you multi-buying. We're saving you money. Uh, a great thing that I learned yesterday, Angela, one of our customers, Sissy in Oklahoma, she texted him. And uh, we were talking, I think we were just talking about how much we save you. And, and she says, yes, we, we, I, I've saved a lot today. And I was thinking every month, mm -hmm. every month payday, my other half will say, managed to save any money this month. If you're shopping here, you're saving loads, of aren't you? Of course. <laughs> you see, I like that. I'm going to so using that city in Oklahoma. Right, lots of you have already checked out. Well done. And lots of you multi-buying this kit as well. That's brilliant. Well done indeed. Let's go over and have a look at some of Angela's pieces. Um, how, whoa, oh, those earrings. Oh, you've made two pairs. <laughs> oh, that well, is so convenient. Slightly different styles there. So convenient. <laughs> Look at Well, I did manage to acquire <laughs> some Ethiopian opal earrings yesterday. Quite similar, actually, that um, Debbie had made with the Ethiopian opal. Oh, this is, see, this is me. Less yeah. is more yeah. for me. Yeah. I'm yeah, either big so ball statement jewellery or something like this. Less yeah. is more. Yeah. Something that really, really catches the eye, but so yeah. simple, isn't it? Really, really simple. Um, two pairs of earrings. I love these, Angela. Yeah, oh, those are gorgeous. gorgeous. I'm going to demo those yeah. ones and the bracelet as well. Wow. And look yeah. at this as well, using the hematite. I love, I love the gemstones yeah. here because it really is impact jewellery, isn't it? You've got so much luster oh, there. Yeah. I mean, I love hematite yeah. um, because of, you know, the shine, the, yeah. the glitter, the, you know, the boldness, mm -hmm. the freshness that it has and the impact mm. that even just one drop will have but in you know when you use it collectively it's stunning oh, stunning it's fab look at this as well for a design <gasps> well that was this is incredible that was inspired by Downton Abbey do you know I was just about to say isn't it very vintage very um, yeah. 1920s almost art deco it's got oh I love it yeah I was watching the show the other night and I was so sad that it came to it's an Christmas. end Christmas yeah and I thought that you know I just had to make something to reflect it yeah with the drops particularly mm -hmm. and the silver in the chain oh. um, but also I love the facets I mean yeah. it, it's called faceted luxury and it is so right because the facets on this kit is stunning it's going to bring light 
freshness, yeah. airiness to your designs. Love it. Beautiful, isn't it? I love that design. That necklace Thank is incredible. Downton was banned in our house Christmas Day. Well, I say it was banned. It wasn't banned. My mum and my auntie wanted to watch it, and I did my best to talk about anything and everything to try and distract them from the time. It's up for two hours. It was. It was long, but it was two worth hours it. at Christmas <laughs> Day. So I'm going to Downton Abbey. I'm not a Downton fan. Oh. I've never watched it though, to be honest. Yeah, so, there you go. I love mm. a happy ending, and it, it was perfect. Oh, perfect. Lovely. Um, okay then, Angela. What are you right. going to show us? So I'm going to demo the, the bracelet. The bracelet first. first. Okay, fab. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, that's the sort of yeah. jewellery I would be love wearing that. out tomorrow night. You know, absolutely love it. It's, um, it's got that vintage look, but mm -hmm. also that modern contemporary modern look yeah. with, the, with the hematite. Definitely. And then I'm going to show you the earrings. Brilliant. Okay. Fabulous. So, Okay, so we've, I've just taken a long piece of beading thread okay. um, and I've just popped a crimp on mm -hmm. um, just in the ordinary yeah. way. Okay, so now we're going to thread on one of the, and you could use either the amethyst or okay. the clear quartz yeah. for this design and I chose to use the clear quartz. So we just pop one on like so. Okay. Okay. And then what we're going to do is then pop the hematite one on each strand. Yeah. Um, and with this design I have a, um, a repeat pattern mm -hmm. so that they uh, they come together. So the tips come together yeah. and the, the, the bottom end also come together. Brilliant. Yeah, if you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Okay, so I start off by taking the thinner end and threading that on first. And then the same on the other side. Okay. Okay. So, we've come together at a point yeah. like this. And then we're going to take one of the, another um, clear quartz. Okay. We're going to feed it on, on either side. Either side is absolutely fine. And then we're going to do like we're doing a ladder wave. Yeah. Okay. So we then take our strand without the, um, the clear quartz. And okay. we're going to feed it straight through mm -hmm. the clear quartz. And we're just going to pull and bring it together. Fab. So what that does, it now positions the... Mm -hmm. Court, yeah, right in the center of your pattern, yeah. Okay, so nice and simple. Sometimes, you know, um, as you say, you know, I, I like to wear the simple designs, yeah. you know, um, and with the simple designs, sometimes when you're using them, it's just about varying. Yeah, the size of the definitely. bead, the shape of the bead, mm -hmm. and you can get a completely different yeah. look. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to thread on our second hematite, but we're going to go with the widest end on first. Mm -hmm. So what that means is now it's going to sit yeah. back to back with our first set. Okay. And if you were, say, doing a necklace, yeah. you could actually just use that technique. Yeah. Um, you could either then, you know, put a, a bead on the bottom and mm -hmm. then you can just carry on yeah. lengthways mm -hmm. and create your necklace or your pendant. Yeah. Okay, so there's lots of variations yeah, that yeah. You, you can do with this. And then again, we pop on our next clear quartz and it doesn't matter which side mm -hmm. you pop the quartz on. Yeah. Oops, Whoopsie. it's alive. <laughs> it's got legs. Okay. And then again, ladder okay. wave technique, mm -hmm. taking it through your bead and out the other end. Yeah. And you can see your pattern's starting yeah. to form now. And then you would just continue all the way up okay. with it. Yeah. So, you know, again, nothing particularly complicated, mm. but what we want to do now is we want to make sure now that the pattern is going to repeat. Okay. Um, if you didn't 
put your bead on the right way it wouldn't matter too much okay but i just wanted to get an effect yeah. where the where it was following the repeat pattern mm -hmm. so this time now we're going to just pop our bead on with the thin end yeah. on first pop it on both sides and then so we've got that pattern reoccurring pop on another bead mm -hmm. and again go through that bead again and you would just continue this pattern all the way yep. up until you got your desired length okay whether it would be for a bracelet or a necklace or a pendant yeah and it's just as so simple, simple isn't as it? that really simple, simple but really yeah. really effective there love yeah. that design and really as i pretty. said you could take that pattern yeah and create a pendant uh-huh um and then go outwards yeah to create the rest, rest mm. of your necklace mm. so as simple as that but i think for me the fact that it's all faceted just brings yeah. a new element to yeah. it. it brings lightness and glamour to the design it's gorgeous do you know just looking at that now as a, as a bracelet that would look nice as a choker design so it would it? wouldn't it very well wow. it would or even as earrings yeah oh as drop gosh. earrings that would yeah. be lovely wouldn't yeah. it both beautiful yeah. that's lovely so that's that that design you yeah know. can i squeeze in just yes, something quickly before you do another one there i want to bring you the storage and the bags Love these. These are fantastic. Especially um, if you do have a pack. Oh, it's always me, isn't it? <laughs> Um, especially if you do have a craft stall as well these bags are really really handy you know if you just want to maybe pop the pieces that you're selling into a nice bag instead of a paper bag it's a nice little alternative or you could sell them on as they are if you wanted to it's entirely up to you <coughs> excuse me you've got a few different sizes in there as well I think there's five different sizes actually <coughs> excuse me so that's your larger one there, then there's your smaller one, and I think you've got another, no, that's the same one. Ah, there we go, so there's four different sizes I think you've got there. No, there's five, there is five. There we go, so five different sizes, 10 by 12, 12 by 16, 15 by 20, 17 by 23, and 7 by 9 there as well. You've got your baby maize and you've got your pale gold there as well. So you do have, in total... 25 pieces of each colour, is that right? Yeah, 25 pieces of each colour, bridesmaids. Yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> That's what I was Easter. Seeing. Oh, yeah. Easter. Oh. Have you ever worked in a supermarket, Angela? Because you sound like you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Christmas stuff is from the cinema. Let's get the Easter stuff in. Mark my words, next month the Easter eggs yeah. will be there. They will. Yes, they will. Oh, God, what I love Easter. Um, so you've got 50 of each, no, sorry, 25 of each, 50 in total. You've got your golden and you've got your baby maize colour there as well. So there's a lot of bags there. You've also got your storage box here as well, which is fab for your findings, for all of your um, gemstones, any of your loose gemstones, your beads that you've got as well. These are fab, aren't they? So you've got two each side, sorry, one each side there. What am I doing? There we go. So loads of storage. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six compartments on that side, and then on the other side you've got four compartments there as well. I love all of our storage, the fact that it's mm. transparent, the fact that you can see what, what you're looking for, exactly what you're looking for, and your dividers fit right up to the lid as well, so nothing's going to fall out there. If that gets thrown into your craft bag and you're a bit of a fast driver, um, and you're back, do you know, it's not, I'm always breaking too late, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always breaking too late. Yes. half always <laughs> says to me, gosh, what are you doing? Um, and everything on the back seat falls into the footwell. <laughs> Oh. So uh, these will be really useful for me. Nothing falls out. So your gemstones aren't going to get mixed up. Your findings aren't going to get mixed up in there either. So you're going to get two of your storage boxes and 50 organza bags there. And what a nice little touch, I think, giving these away just with your jewellery instead of a yeah, paper bag. Absolutely. Or Do you know, I'm, I, I learned a lesson the other day mm -hmm. um, when I was doing one of my um, sales events. And normally my...
patches are black. Yeah. And uh, a lady came along and she'd bought something and she said, I was about to put it in a black bag and she says, uh, she said, do you have any other colour? And I says, uh, no particularly. She goes, oh, because the gift is for my do is for my granddaughter yeah. and she's going through a really tough time at the moment and black just isn't a good colour for her. No, so it? I had to have a good route to yeah. that. Luckily, I had a different colour. There and you go. And it taught me you've got to have a different Variety colours of in colours. your stash. Yeah, for different, you know, the yeah. ladies, the gents, different pieces of jewellery. Again, yeah. different ages and Absolutely. stuff like that. And the reason that you buy is a great idea. 50 of your bags and two of the storage pots you've got there. There are so many of you checking out for these massive, massive well done. This is such a fabulous deal. Saving you so much money there. Again, if you want to come in and you want to multi-buy, go for it. But you know, I love these just for your own jewellery as well. Yeah. The amount of jewellery that I have, you know, I, c I don't think I would have, or there is, a jewellery box big enough. <laughs> I'd need like a treasure no, chest. No, no. I'll tell you what I do with mine as well, is I hang up my pieces in there and hang yeah. them in my wardrobe see, as well. See, space saving. So you saving. can see what, yeah. what pieces you actually yeah. have. That's a great yeah. idea, isn't it? Just popping them on a hanger and hanging them up. So well, on the other end, I've also seen people, I think it was Sarah Elvin quite a while ago, mm -hmm. who made some jewellery from the bags and cutting the bags up and using it as textile wow. to create jewellery. That's a great so, idea. Yeah, you know, so you don't limit yourself yeah. to thinking, you know, it's just for yeah. um, storage. Yeah. You use them in your designs Lots as well. Lots of uses, isn't there? You've There's also got the ribbon in there as well yeah, that you can use. And there's a lot there yeah. as well. You've got 50 bags in total. Michelle in Derbyshire, Anne, Linda, Valerie, Julie, uh, Sue, Jane, Barry in Essex, well done, Sandra, Rachel, you're there, Anne, Lillian, congratulations, collect it in Bedfordshire, collect it in Greater London, well done to you, 9 95 That's incredible. What I love about this storage mm -hmm. box, though, is it's surprisingly deep. Yeah. Because I thought, looking at it, I thought, oh, if it's double-sided, it's not going to yeah. be that deep. Okay. It is surprisingly deep. You get quite a you lot in there. You can get a lot in there, especially when it comes to findings yeah. and your beads and your um, your gems of distinction, gemstones like that. There is a, there's a lot of space in there. And as you say, I think with all storage, yeah. we all get a bit surprised as to how much you can fit in there. Sometimes if I if I cut up strands and fill the boxes, you can't believe how much room they've got. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I actually use one of my storage boxes to keep my change in um, when I'm doing events. Um, so, and these are great because you've got all the little compartments as well. So you can have one for your pound coins, one for your 50p's, one for your, you know, your coppers. Mm -hmm. So they're great little, and they won't yeah. take up too much space. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They're brilliant, aren't they? Well done if you've managed to get those. Quite a lot of you with those in baskets. Do make sure you're checking out as soon as you can. Um, okay, Angela, I shall let you... Uh, carry on with your demo. Okay, so now we're going to move on to those earrings. Okay. Now, I just These want ones. you, those ones, I want you just to feel, <coughs> feel the earring. There's a weight to it, isn't a there? A real weight yeah. to those. It's not heavy, yeah. but there's a real substantial weight. <laughs> and to me, it's a, a weight of quality. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but they're not heavy. They're yeah. beautiful. Dibs in those. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> thought I'd get in there before you yeah. now. Why? <laughs> okay, so um, what I'm doing, I've just taken a length <clears> of wire. <throat> yeah. And I always like, you know, um, our wire is such good value. So we always use yeah. more than you think yeah. you need. Because um, any excess isn't going to go to waste. You can use it for something else. So again, with this design, you could use either you want the clear quartz or the green okay. amethyst. So I'm just popping on. I think, can I just bring yeah, it over a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so I've popped on five. Because mm -hmm. I've done a similar design in the pendant, so I wasn't sure whether I'd put a spacer yeah. um, in there. So I've just popped on five of the clear quartz. Okay. Which are beautiful quality. They're stunning. I love they those. Are. So vintage. And even just one of them by themselves. I mean, you can see at the top of the earrings there. If you were just to wear those, or even the, the design that you've got yeah. um, in today as well, you've used the green amethyst in your ears. But if you use the clear ones, yeah, just as beautiful. effective. And as you say, it goes with absolutely yeah. anything and yeah, everything. Yeah, it does. So I've just popped on five. Can I, Angela, just pop this underneath? Just because yes, we've got clear course. gemstone and silver wire. Yeah, of course, makes sense, doesn't Brilliant. it? Brilliant. Okay, 
So I've just popped on five of the clear okay. cords on my wire <coughs> and I've just let them fold down yeah. a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to give them just a tiny little twist just to secure the okay. shape of these. Okay, tiny little twist. So my hands are all sweaty. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. That'll be me, Angela. I'm like, I am that person that's always cold, unfortunately. And the guest design is always really warm. <laughs> I did say to Angela today, it's typical New Year's Eve, we're all going out tonight. Um, it's been mild. How mild has it been? Like 13 degrees at night time, unheard of. New Year's Eve when everyone's going out, freezing. <laughs> Yeah. I, and I am not a happy, cold person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be grumpy. You have to wrap up with I your hat and scarf. I don't have to. I put my woolly, yeah. my woolly um, coat on, my fur coat, I think. Maybe just stay in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> stay with me, um, you know, seated on, in the yeah. new year. <laughs> okay, so um, <clears throat> I've just given my beads a little twist. Okay. And when it's done, it's just kept that shape. Yeah. Kept the shape in place. Mm -hmm. And then I've used these spacers. These spacers are gorgeous. They're fab, and there's so many of them. And as small as they are, yeah. they've still got a facet on them. Yeah, I know. It's brilliant, they're isn't it? Gorgeous, I love those. So I've just threaded on um, a random amount. Okay. I think I started off with 20 yeah. um, for the first section. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do just just simply pick them up yeah. with your um, the end of the wire, mm -hmm. and then all we're going to do is take it, take it over mm -hmm. and through the centre of your circle. Mm -hmm. And I like to always just kink the end of the okay. wire because you know I've done this at home, and the next thing I know, all oh, my beads on. have slipped out my hand, and it's all over the floor. So I just like to kink the wire a little bit, okay. and then we're just going to take it through the centre, mm -hmm. and then just position our beads. Okay. And what we're doing is we're just wrapping these beads around all the beads okay. in the centre. Okay. And then we just thread on a little bit more. When mm -hmm. I was doing this design at home, I literally filled the length of wire okay. with the beads, yeah. which is one way to do it. Okay. But then they all fell off, and then they get stuck in as you're going through mm -hmm. because the space in the centre of, of the quartz is only okay. very small. Yeah. Okay. So if I can just get these up. Is that Pete playing his computer again? <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? There he is, look. Hide it, hide it. <laughs> okay, so we've got some more beads on and then yeah. we're just going to go through the middle so again. So you do that all off the same piece of wire yeah. you're just going off, round? Yeah. yeah. We're just going to go all the way round mm -hmm. and you're just repeating it yeah. till you can put... Go all the way around the circle. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and it's as simple as that. Okay. And it gives you that really, really yeah. lovely effect. But also add that weight mm -hmm. yeah. um, into the piece. Oh, bad, I? And I often think that um, if you get your customer, if you're selling, for example, to pick up the piece, mm -hmm. they will often feel the quality and the quality can then make a big difference to how they perceive yeah. the price uh -huh. of the item because, you know, we think of quality, we think yeah. of the weight as well. Yeah. So again, you know, we're just stranding on and mm -hmm. going through the centre, mm -hmm. all the way through. And, you know, position your beads as yeah. you're going along, because sometimes they do slip back. Okay? And okay. We, this is all we're doing, just going round around our bead. I'm just going to let you carry on there yeah. a second, Angela, and catch up. I've just got a couple of things to bring you. The Craft Fair Tips DVD, which is brilliant. It's like having your own Angela at home with you. It's brilliant, isn't it? Only it's Mark. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's Mark. One. Yeah, that's Mark. It is a very good DVD. Yeah, that is Mark. Mark. Angela. 
Mark and Yeah, we're all the same, really, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have, on your craft fair tips, you've got your introduction, your hearts, your stars and your flowers, your solitaire wide macrame rings, your sugar-free Shambhala bracelets, your rosary link chandelier earrings, memory wire bracelets, your wide necklace and your craft fair hints and tips on that. It's brilliant. As I said before, um, if you need to know anything, Angela is your lady, text in 60777, start your message with the word JM Studio. Get yourself a DVD home. It is guest designer Mark Smith, apologies, not Angela. Get it home. It is like having your very own guest designer at home. If you can't maybe uh, get down to the craft shops, the craft shops, the workshops, um, if you can't get down to the workshops because you live too far away, then maybe get yourself a DVD instead. Maybe if your budget won't let you stretch to one of the workshops, again, get the DVD. The great thing is you can pause them, you can stop them, you can go off and make yourself a cuppa, you can go off and do the shopping, you can come back and you can press play. You can rewind mm. as many times as you like. If you need to go back over something, just keep rewinding, just keep going over it. You've got the DVD yourself. And then the great thing is when you finish, you just pass it on to your friend. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, what I love about this DVD mm -hmm. is Mark actually shares with um, with viewers yeah. um, some of his personal top sellers wow. from his business. That's good, isn't it? And I think that's always very useful yeah. and very valuable. Definitely. Um, because it's, you know, we work here in so many mediums and we have so many fabulous yeah. guest designers all showing, you mm -hmm. know, a wide range of things. And it's actually nice to have a guest designer say, actually, this is the design that yeah, works for me. Yeah, of course, definitely. You know? That's so invaluable, isn't it? Definitely. So I'd definitely say, got to have that one in, in your... In yeah, stash. it's a must, isn't yeah. it? 0800 644 655. Lots of you on the web already. Suzanne, uh, Suzanne Samantha, Ruth, Waz and Collector in Angus, K in Cardiff, Pat in West Yorkshire, you all there as well. You do need to complete your checkout. Get this home and have a look at this. Fantastic. Um, could I squeeze in the wire? Mm. Just because wire is very few and far between, isn't it? Especially outside of a kit. And lately, I've only really had the coloured wire. Your antique bronze wire, and this is your 1.25 millimetre gauge as well, which is a bigger gauge. It's great for your structural pieces. If you've ever seen any of... Um, Claire McDonald's designs where she's done the adjustable bangles. This is perfect for that. Oh, sorry, Claire McDonald. Claire McDonald. Didn't she win an award this morning? Designer of the year. Oh. Woo. Congratulations, Claire. Claire, that's wow. incredible, isn't it? Um, yeah, we'll have a drink when we see it. Bring <laughs> some bubbles in, Claire, if you can. Uh, she's not in tonight, is she? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, the adjustable bangles, this is brilliant for any structural pieces, yeah. isn't it? Your yeah. talk necklaces as well, it's fantastic, your 1.25 millimetre gauge. Wire writing as well, which Claire does a lot of as well, it's fantastic for that. If you're making any designs, like Alice and Terry makes um, sculpture pieces, if you like, mm -hmm. um, ornamental pieces yeah. Yeah. and stuff like that, it's brilliant, that. isn't it? And you have 10 metres here as well, so if you just want to have a little practice, get this home, 10 metres, that's a lot to be going on with in your antique bronze, and as I said, the wire is very, very few and far between lately, we've just not seen any of it, ZCJN97 is your code for this one, multi-buyers there as well, I don't blame you, take this opportunity, it's your 1.25 millimetre gauge as well, if you want to get a couple of these please feel free to do so well done to collect in louisiana times two belinda in buckinghamshire well done michelle in derbyshire leslie deborah sandra and you're all there as well congratulations seven pounds and 95 pence i love the 1.25 we don't see that gauge very often either do we you really don't no. do you it's no. normally up to your one millimeter That's and right. then anything above that I, and seen. I love that colour. It's so complimentary to the skin Ooh, as yeah, well. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And with colour. all gemstones as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of those, isn't it? Fabulous. Right, I shall let you carry on, Angela. Okay. We've got a couple of minutes left. So, okay, so um, as I say, we've threaded on and we've just got weaved in and out, yep. in and out of our circle. Okay. And then just to finish off, we're just going to go through that centre again. Sorry, would help if I put my glasses on. <laughs> See what I'm doing. Okay, uh, through the centre. And then up through the okay. top. Okay. So, we've got our mm -hmm. beaded circle there. Yeah. And then just to finish off, what I've just done is just done some of the tiara twists. Okay. So, just uh, wires between your thumb yeah. and your forefinger. And I like to just turn. Okay turn the, the piece 
and turn it to our desired length. Mm -hmm. And I always like to twist it a lot longer because I've, you know, I've thought, oh, that's about enough. And then when you're wrapping it, it's yeah. actually not long enough. So yeah. always just twist it for, you know, as long as necessary. And then with our round nose pliers, we're just going to create our wrapped loop. I'm just wrapping it around. Um, someone sent a text in, Angela, just asking how much you would sell these earrings for. Where I sell, and I sell in lots of hospitals and offices okay, and yeah. the workplace, I would be looking at about £20 yeah. minimum. Okay, that's fair, yeah. isn't it? I mean, there's a lot of gemstone yeah. in these as well, isn't there? There is, there is. And I think for me as well, it's um, that perceived value. Yeah. Um, and I know that... A, a customer of mine can pick these up and wear them with anything yeah um and also you know when you get them to feel it mm -hmm. and to you know yeah. to try it on they're going to feel the quality mm -hmm. in it yeah um, and therefore people will then often put the value with that yeah. perception that Definitely. actually they are of quality yeah. which they are they're fab so they? yeah i'd say about the 20 pound mark mm -hmm. um okay so we're just going to finish off our wrapped loop mm -hmm and trim it and there you've got the base for Excellent. your earring um, and you could use that then for mm -hmm. you know um, pendant yeah you, you could. know that would make a really yeah. lovely pendant um, and then you would just finish off mm -hmm. in the usual way um, and I've just put a jump ring yeah um, and a bead on on the end okay um, and just finish off with that yeah. earring finding um, you know and you might want to some people like long drops yeah and you could add more of the mm -hmm. clear quartz to give it that length wow. or just keep it short um, and then you pop your earring finding mm -hmm. on so you know if, the nice thing with this kit is you've got so many beads that yeah. you, can, you can replicate this design in both the clear quartz and the yeah. Um, and the amethyst and the as amethyst, well. but also create it to different lengths yeah. to give your customers the option. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so you would just finish off your earring in the normal way. Fab. Yeah. Love those. That is such a fabulous kit. It's gone such a long way and there's so much you can do with it. It's so, so versatile. If you have still got that kit in your basket, get checking out as soon as you can. Um, and well done if you've just managed to get the wire. Um, after the break, I've got the 925 Sterling Silver Chain, a metre of, have a look at this, a metre of 925 chain. They're so, just for the weight in oh. this is incredible. The flay. It's really pretty. Isn't this fab? And it's coming up for you after the break. So don't go anywhere and we'll be back with you in just a few minutes time. There are four easy ways to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Tonight is truly spectacular. This precious gemstone is only found in one location in the world, Tanzania, Africa. Claimed to be a thousand times rarer than diamonds, tanzanite is the blue variety of zoisite. Tanzanite is extremely popular due to its trichroic nature, which means that three different colors can be seen when looking at the gem from different angles. In tanzanite's case, these colors are blue, pinkish violet and yellow. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information.
Ruby is an incredibly popular gemstone here at Jewelry Maker. Its beautiful red tones are instantly recognisable as an incredibly precious gemstone. Ruby itself is a member of the Corundum family whose sister stone is going to be Sapphire. Ruby is the only member of this gemstone that has its own name. Now, when we look at Ruby, we look for really beautiful, even tones, and these can run from rich reds, which are often referred to as pigeon blood ruby, right through to lighter, paler tones, almost going into the pink tones as well. Ruby is a birthstone for July, so it makes the perfect addition to your collection if you're looking for those unique presents. And it is the 40th wedding anniversary stone as well. Ruby itself is incredibly hard, being nine on the Mohs scale, making it perfect for all kinds of jewellery. And we know that Ruby itself is the everlasting symbol of love. Do you want to tell everyone about the great purchase you've made from Jewellery Maker? Do you want to shout about the great service you've received? Then why not download the Jewelry Makers Viewers Voice app available for iPhone or Android and record a video that could be played on Jewelry Maker. Simply search Jewelry Maker Viewers Voice in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download our Viewers Voice app straight to your phone or tablet. You can record as many videos as you like and send them straight to us here at Jewelry Maker. All you have to do is then carry on watching us as usual and wait for your video to be played. Download the JM Viewers Voice app and you could be the next face we see here on Jewelry Maker. We are live every day from 8am to 9pm. So come and join in and get creating with Jewelry Maker. Did you know when you book on the Jewelry Maker workshop, you are given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Jewelry Maker. If you've just tuned in, do go and have a look on the website jewelrymaker.com and see if there's anything still available um, from today's show. We've had some cracking deals so far and it's not over yet. Now, at the start of the show, I did say, sorry, Mum, that we'd got um, 95 sterling silver wire. There was a printing error on the sheet. It's not wire, it's chain. 925 sterling silver chain. So don't have any wire, unfortunately, today, but we will try and get you some for next time. A metre though, a metre, a full metre of 925 sterling silver. Now the weight of this chain is incredible. Have we got the grammage on this one, Toby? Because it's really, really weighty. Now you've got a full metre there um, of 95 sterling silver chain. With a metre you could get two 16 inch lengths. Um, for a necklace and a seven inch bracelet or anklet if you wanted to. Doesn't have to be two 16 inch lengths if you don't want to. You could use the entire meter and you could perhaps go for the layered up look, which is very, very on trend at the moment. All you would need to do is attach your jump rings and your lobster claw fastening or whatever fastening you'd like um, to the end. And even with no gemstones, solid sterling silver is the, lust, the most lustrous, I should say, of all of your precious metals. So even when you don't have any gemstones whatsoever, you get the most incredible luster. And when worn by itself, just a shame. Oh, sorry, Toby, I have got it. It's on my screen. <laughs> Poor Toby's just spent five minutes looking for the grammage there, and it's on my screen. Seven grams, seven <laughs> grams of solid sterling silver you've got there. That's absolutely loads. All right. <laughs> Ollie, typical woman there, right in front of her. She didn't see it. Mm. Have a look. Layered up look maybe with a bracelet you could get. So seven inch um, length, we'll say you could get one two three four 
five, maybe six at a push, depending on what size you go for in bracelets or anklets. But you can see the way, if you look at the fluidity in the links as well, this is going to sit so beautifully against the wrist or the ankle. You could add charms to this as well if you wanted to. You could get your featherweight head pins through those links if you wanted to attach some charms there. And you could get your jump rings through there as well to add your lobster claw fastening on the end, a full metre length. And also, today we've seen um, Angela cutting up the, the chain to use for earrings yesterday. Who was we with yesterday? <laughs> I've had sleep since then. Who was it? The guest design is going to be sat at home now. It was Debbie. It's Debbie Bulford. Sorry, Debbie. Sorry. Um, and Debbie Bulford cutting up the, the 925 chain as well for earrings, which looks yeah. incredible. It really does. And with this kind of weight and this fluidity that you've got in the chain here as well, it will work fantastically in earrings as well. And as earrings, actually, that would go such a long way, wouldn't it? it Amita, would. I'd multi-buy. I would definitely multi-buy. Um, Kathleen in Essex has got four. Well done to you, Kathleen. Collect in Hampshire, you've got three. Sylvia in Merseyside, you've got two. Collect in Angus, you've got two. Collect in County Antrim, you've got two. Diana in Greater London, you've got two as well. Congratulations. Telephone bidders, you need to start dialing in because we are going so low for you this afternoon. Um, 800 644 655. I've got about 25 of you with these in baskets right now that need to be checking out. I've managed to get a knot in this. I the know. thing with sterling silver is, for me, it's always a good buy. It is. Because if you do nothing else with it, it's going to, you know, you could just take it and take it along to one of these shops and, you know, sell yeah. it for the gram weight. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Um, I don't know how much you'd get for it, but, you know, mm -hmm. I know some people, are, you know, would certainly consider that. Yeah. And you could also have it on your craft stall as it is. You know, maybe somebody would like to buy the chain just as it is from yourself or, um, you know, wants a specific length, 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 <laughs> length, it could be that somebody wants uh, an 18 inch necklace, a 22 inch necklace uh, yeah. from this chain. That's why it's really handy, yeah. really great to multi-buy. And this will add value to any design because it's 925. There's certain gemstones that we talk about a lot, that I especially talk about a lot, you know, your big five, your pearls gemstones like kyanite those really collectible gemstones ethiopian opal you can't compromise on your precious metal it's going to have to be 925 minimum mm. and this is just going to go such a long way you've got a full meter length there fq pk 92 there's about 30 of you with these in baskets 14 pounds and 95 pence wow. do you know what i think in fact can you do it for me toby just open up a new tab on the web and look for a sterling silver bracelet. So we're going to go for a 7-inch, 8-inch length and see what uh, kind of prices we could be paying on the high street. Even in that 7-inch length, there's got to be 2 grams of sterling silver. It's really, really weighty, this chain is. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like it just like that. Yeah, I do. I, do you know what? I, I have, I've worked with a, a lady, she's been on my course <coughs> probably about two, three years mm -hmm. ago. And what she does is she has lengths of silver chain okay. and findings. Yeah. And people come along and they choose a pendant. Yeah. And then she will just ask them what length they want. Oh, that's 16, a good 18, idea, 18, isn't 20, it? 20, 24. Yeah. Um, and just and, make it. Yeah. And she just pops the chain on. Job done. That's so a having, idea. you know, multiple of these, you're going to be able to yeah. offer that service, but also say for your bracelets in different lengths. Yeah. Um, and your earrings as well. So definitely, you know, that's yeah. brilliant, isn't it? And look at all of that leather that you've got there as well. Lots of you coming through on the telephone lines. If you do have a phone in your hand, how much? Okay. They're ranging from 15 to 20 pounds up to the hundreds for a 925, seven inch length sterling silver in a bracelet. So basically we're bringing you a metre, so that's five, six times that you've got here for 14 pounds and 95 pence. Mm. Uh, Kathleen, you've got four, Wells and Collection Hampshire, you've got two, Sylvia, you've got two, Collector in County Antrim, you've got two, Yvette in the West Midlands, you've got two, Diana in Greater London, you've got two, Janet in Essex, you've got two, Jean in Northamptonshire, you've just got yours on the telephone lines, Marion in Dorset, you've got yours on the telephone lines. At this moment in time, there's about 20 of you with these in baskets that do need to complete your checkout. It's really important that you do that. It is such an incredible deal. Seven grams of 925 sterling silver you've got there. Really easy to cut this chain as well. If you wanted to cut this and use that for earrings, you could take a couple of inch, a couple of inches in your length there. 
You could use your featherweight head pins, just drop some maybe um, some microfaceted Ethiopian opals like we saw yesterday in the design. So gorgeous. Any of your microfaceted gemstones, you could hang a big drop on there if you wanted to. Oh, they would look stunning, wouldn't they? Uh, Margaret in Merseyside, Judy, well done. Laurie, collect in Kent, collect in Cambridge. Molly, Marina in Venetia, Christina, well done, collect in Gloucestershire. Patricia, lots and lots of you coming through. Massive congratulations. Just to give you some idea, I like to do this. Have a look at this waterfall of sterling silver. There's seven mm. grams here. In the hand, Mike, in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> FQ PK 92. Look at all of that silver. Wow, wow. It looks like loads when you do it like that. Doesn't it just? Seven wow. grams you've got there. Seven whole grams yeah. of 925 sterling silver. Colette, Margaret, Laurie, Kat in Kent, Kat in Cambridgeshire, Molly, Marina, Christina, you need to get checking out as soon as you can. FQ PK 92 <laughs> is your code for this one. 0800 644 I've managed to get a knot in it again. I don't know how I'm doing this. Silly, silly me. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, well done if you've already checked that and multi buyers. Well done to you as well. Right. Okay, let's just pop that over there. <laughs> Righty ho. Um, coming up, can I just give you a sneaky peek actually? Because the next kit for me it is incredible. Um, the amount of kyanite that you have in this strand, I'm just going to show you the strand. Kyanite is my favourite blue gemstone. And look at this strand. Oh my gosh. This is breathtaking. I love this gemstone so much. Completely natural. This is a huge, huge carat weight of your kyanite you've got here. Coming up in about an hour's time for you, so not long to wait at all. I love this. Okay, let's squeeze in some deals for you then. Let's start with... Oh, what a way to start. Talking of Alexa's <coughs> gemstones, fire opal. Have a look at this colour. Wow, just look at this and you can see exactly how this gemstone gets its name, can't you? It's got such intensity of colour. Uh, burnt oranges, burnt reds in there as well. It is literally glowing from within, literally on fire. It's incredible. Now, there are so many varieties of opal. It could be the only gemstone in your stash. There's Mintabi Jelly Opal, there's your Mosaic Opal, there's your Australian Opal, there's your Boulder Opal, there's your Fire Opal, there's your Jack Eye Blue Opal, there's your Ethio. I could go on and on and on. There is so many varieties of this gemstone. Normally with Opal, um, your Ethiopia, Opia, Ethiopia, Ethiopian? Ethiopian Opal, we look for play of colour. Now, with your fire opal, we are not looking for play of colour, but we are looking for the diaphanity within the gemstone. Basically, the diaphanity is the transparency that allows light to travel very, very slowly through the gemstone, so it creates this spectacular inner glow on its way. In natural daylight, this gemstone has the most magnificent torch-like glow from within the gemstones. They are phenomenal, highly collectible gemstone 50 carats in total you've got here as well that is a huge huge carat weight they are beautiful so i'm looking at the whiter opals here and i'm thinking the moonstone strand that we've got coming up would look incredible with these you could put these with any other opals in your opal stash couldn't you your carnelians as well your burnt oranges and your burnt reds are everywhere right now they are very much on the catwalk and we're uh, in september at london fashion week all those carnelian hues your moo kites your natural woods as well if you've got any of those they would look fabulous wouldn't they what would you do with this strand angela if you had this oh i <laughs> immediately thought of pearls did you? And the spaces wow. in between those pearls. Yeah. I absolutely love this colour palette. Yeah. It's very earthy. Yeah. Uh, and it works so well both with your winter mm -hmm. wardrobe and with the summer wardrobe as well. I think that 
palettes is mm. all year round. It's gorgeous. It's incredible, yeah. isn't it? Look at, that. Love that. Look at the depth of colour in some of those opals. Yeah. They're magnificent, aren't they? You need to be getting this home today. Do remember you've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. If you've never had fire opal in your collection before, get it home because you will absolutely love it. And it has such a distinct colour. Mm. It's one of those colours that people will be drawn to on yeah. your craft store. Whether it be on your craft store, whether it be something you're wearing, yeah. people will notice yeah. it, won't they? Yeah, All definitely. Because it, it's the colour is intense, yeah. isn't it? It's deep and it's rich and it's mm. got vibrancy and a life about it. It really has. Love that. It. It's one of those uplifting gemstones, yeah. isn't it? You know, this teamed up with some citrine would look oh, incredible, gorgeous. wouldn't it, as well? Very, very summery. Five by three to eight by five millimeters in size. That's an 18 centimeter strand that you've got here. VLJN13, 34 pounds and 95 pence for you. And we're taking this even lower. You know, I was saying I wouldn't compromise with some gemstones on precious metals. This is definitely mm. one of them. It would have to be 925 sterling silver for me. £29.95 for you today. Incredible deal. Get this home and have a look at it. If by any chance there is a sunny day when you get this home, fingers crossed, we could always live in hope. Um, take it outside and view it in natural daylight. We always say with any gemstone, the best daylight, um, the best light rather to view it in is natural daylight. Uh, just one direct light source, i.e. the sun, because whatever the gemstone displays whether it have a diaphanity whether it be a uh, play of color whether it be fire whether it be brilliant you will see the gemstone at its best outside in natural daylight you've got such a big big carrot weight here for 50 carats of your fire opal that is a hundred percent natural to be anywhere near this price tag is unheard of mm. anywhere else yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm looking at that, and a couple of years ago, um, one of my biggest commissions ever was <coughs> for an Asian bride. Okay. And I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking, <sighs> I could see that as yeah. part of an Asian bridal Definitely. outfit. Definitely. All those colours. Yeah. yeah. There's rich, gorgeous luscious juicy colors i could really see that definitely yeah they are aren't they i'm just gonna have a little count out actually and see exactly what we've got here you've got two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 46, 48, approximately 50. Approximately 50 gemstones you've got there. VLJN13 is your code for this one. Um, coming up for you at 2.30, we have the mixed amber. Now, the strands of amber that we had yesterday were a big, big hit. These are coming up for you in just over 10 minutes. How well do these go with fire opal? It's funny yesterday because I was looking at the amber strands we had yesterday and thinking, do you know what, there isn't anything I would put them with. How well do these go together? Earthy tones yeah, again. Gorgeous. And do you know that either of those strands would work beautifully with the next kit oh, because yeah. of the colour tone, the colour palette. Tones. They'd be perfect. They would, wouldn't they? Amber's coming up for you in just 10 minutes' time as a star buy, so not too long to wait at all. Right. Oh. Ooh. Have a look at these. Rhoda Light Garnet for you. These are beautiful. I was saying yesterday, actually, we were uh, really lucky that we had a couple of strands of, uh, of garnet yesterday. It's one of those gemstones for me that I, well, all gemstones really, it's, it's really hard, but some, you, we always have particular favourites, don't we? We always have gemstones that will knock you sideways mm -hmm. for colour, for clarity, the fact that they're completely natural. Garnet is one of those for me. Every time I look at this and I see that intensity of colour within the gemstone, I just cannot believe this is completely natural. I mean, mulled wine hues, the mm. deepest, richest tones you've got within this gemstone. 100% natural. You've got your faceted drops here, 5 by 4 to 9 by 5 millimetres in size. That's a 16 centimetre strand that you have here and an absolutely colossal carat weight of 55 carats. Now, I just want to talk about um, carat weights again here at Jewelry Maker and the fact that these are genuine gemstones because uh, Debbie Bulf had said yesterday and lots of people when we have discussions every day in the office, we always say, you know, we forget and it's really easy to do. You know, maybe your New Year's resolution is never to moan again. 
that's mine. And you know what? Give me two days. Give me two days. The most insignificant things, like I can't find a pen. You put this utensil in the wrong drawer, husband. You know, the, you know, we try. The best intentions just start and think, right, I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, and you end up doing it, don't you? However, here at Joymaker, we forget really easy to do. Just a couple of days after research, yeah, 55 carats of road light going, we to take it down really, really low. It's just what we do. No, that's not just what we do. We are incredible here at Joymaker in that there isn't anywhere else that brings you value like this. To anybody that's never watched Jewelry Maker before, if you'd said to them, I got 55 carats of natural garnet today at the price tag we're going down to, if you said to anybody that works in the industry, I got 55 carats of natural garnet today for the price tag that we're going down to, they wouldn't believe you. They wouldn't believe you. The prices that we go to are unheard of for genuine gemstones. The carat weights that we bring you. And hands up, before I came here at Jewelry Maker and I worked over on Gemporia, I, I'd be looking at, you know, a, I don't know, a two carat, a, a garnet ring in, in sterling silver in high double figures. And, and that's incredible. That's an incredible price tag. But they're not Jewelry Maker prices. You've got 55 carats of natural garnet here that has been faceted to perfection. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 4, 6, 27 approximately you've got on this strand. Each one faceted beautifully. And you know, the chain that we had, I was saying about maybe popping some gems of distinction or some drops onto this chain in earrings. Your 925 sterling silver chain, one of your garnets dropped onto the end there, one or maybe you'd want a cluster of three. How high end would these look? They would look so elegant, so boutique. That was my thoughts exactly of what I would do with that. Um, you know, sometimes when you have the quality yeah. in the gemstone, you sometimes less is more. You don't need oh, yeah. a lot mm. because the mm -hmm. quality will always shine through. Definitely. And I think the, the shape of the gem being drops mm -hmm. lends itself to those drop designs yeah. in those ear, earrings. I think that would look stunning on the, the oh, chain. wouldn't they just? And yeah. it's difficult sometimes, isn't it, as well, because... With some gemstones, you just don't want to put anything else with it. You don't want to take anything away from the gemstone that you have, from that beauty. Mm. These are fabulous. Diana, in Greater London, you've just managed to get yourself two of these. £17.95 for you today. Or not. We're going down even. This is what I mean. Who does this? Who does this? We do. £12.95, massive congratulations if you have already checked out. You, nobody pays any more than anybody else. Everybody only ever pays that final low closing price tag. Today, that is just £12.95 for genuine, natural, rhodolite garnet you've got here. And look at the carrot weight that we are seeing there. Lots and lots of you coming through on the web. Do make sure you're checking out for these individually. They're huge gemstones. And I've got to be honest, again, for me, if I was using that solid sterling silver chain, taking just two of these gemstones in drops in earrings, there'd be a minimum of £30. Yeah, and, and also, you know, my mind at the moment is turning towards bridal. Yeah. Because we're entering the bridal season. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking about those winter brides. Yeah. And, you know, winter brides, January, February, mm -hmm. March. And then also for next year, yeah. you know, putting them with your pearls... Oh, gorgeous. That's a winning combination. Definitely. Um, well done if you have managed to check those out. They are fantastic. Susan, well done. Elise, Diana, collected in County Durham. Fantastic. Ooh. Oh, I was looking in the wrong place. Have a look at these. Die upside for you. Beautiful nuggets. Talk about high end tree of life. These are gorgeous. Number two on my list of favourite gemstones. Again, it's all about the colour for me and the fact that these are completely natural. Can you imagine being in the mine and finding a gemstone with this colour? It's incredible, isn't it? 300 carats 
of your diopsides you've got here and look at the saturation of colour. They are saturated, aren't they? This is like the ultimate mm. green hue. And you've got 300 carats right here. Collector's gemstone. In your nuggets, that could be your tree of life design. Again, it could be your memory wire bracelets or your memory wire rings if you wanted to. At 86 centimetres, you have a double strand there. Essentially, two strands, if you like, going down to a giveaway price tag. 0800 644 655 NTGP15 is your code for this one. Lots and lots of you coming through already. Well done if you've already managed to check this out because it's six pounds and 95 pence giving this away giving this away at six pounds and 95 pence i go to what i was talking about in the, in the last auction in the fact that the carrot weights would bring you in the prices it doesn't add up doesn't that work out to like two pence per carrot it's mad isn't it it's bonkers <laughs> it's do you know if spring is on its way yeah if you are making your spring designs if you're going to be you know selling mm -hmm into florist yeah. into um garden centers mm -hmm. um if you're going to be doing those flower shows and yeah. those, you know all those um floral designs oh, you're going yeah. to need this you are going to need your greens and all your shades yeah. of greens so what i'd be saying you know is get these stocked up mm -hmm. create your samples Definitely. you know and then approach you know outlets yeah. and boutiques and then ha you've got your pieces ready to sell 6.95 as no. well i mean you know we've all just had a, a heavy season of shopping haven't we 6.95 i mean how hard was it for everyone to get a secret santa for five pounds it's not easy is it I overspent, if I'm honest, but I couldn't resist. Um, six pounds and 95 pence, that is an incredible deal. 300 cats of genuine gemstones. You've got that, a massive, massive congratulations if you've got those. Right, 925 findings that are gold-plated. The fire opal. Mm. Yes, gold-plated. I love gold with fire opal. It really brings that warmth, doesn't it? Not that fire opal needs any. Um, okay, have a look at what we've got in here. There's loads in here. 925. Now, the more and more you work with 925, the more you handle it, the more you will recognise 925. Without even picking it up, you can spot it a mile off. It's got this, this luster to it that um, you wouldn't find necessarily in other alloys. You've got your gold plating here as well, which gives you so much luster. Now, in this particular findings pack, you have oh look at this chain how pretty is this you've got your crimps and your crimp covers now who was i talking to yesterday was it debbie Walford or was it somebody in the office we were talking about um findings packs and just saying that basically if you're brand new to jewelry maker and i'm saying you've got a crimp and you've got a crimp cover you might be thinking what's a crimp <laughs> What's a crimp cover? Like you, if you didn't know, yeah. I would if I didn't have any idea. Basically, these are components to make jewellery. Now, next time you go shopping, if you are brilliant, I want you just to have a look, because I've never, ever done it before I worked here at Jewellery Maker, at the components that make a piece of jewellery. So, say, for example, if you are using beading thread, if you like, um, as Alison was earlier, to thread some gemstones on. So, you know how with a needle and cotton you will double, or I do anyway, Double that cotton over, don't you? So you would do the same with beading thread. You would give yourself a double. Do correct me if I'm explaining this really wrong, Alison. I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> Angela. Um, you keep calling me Alison. Do I? Yeah. I'm so sorry, Angela. <laughs> do I? Yeah, I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> I forgive you. It's the A <laughs> name, isn't it? I've known Angela for a very long time. <laughs> just like to point that out. It's the A. I call them Fleur, Claire. No. Fleur and Laura. All the time. I don't know what that is. They look nothing alike. Sorry, Angela. It's all right, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Start calling me <laughs> Zena, if you like. So, your crimps. So, you get your beading thread and you would double that up as if you were putting um, uh, your cotton through a needle, if you like. And then you would pop the, the beading thread through your crimp using your crimping pliers. You will, technical term, squish that down. Squish that down, and then once you start threading your gemstones on, 
that's going to stop them coming off. It's also going to give you a little loop at the end, which will be your attachment to connect your jump rings or your lobster claw fastening, anything else too. So it is an absolute essential, isn't it? Yeah. To have your crimps within your findings packs. But then it's not always the best looking thing once you have squished it down as well. So you then have something called a crimp cover which is this little, I'll pop that crimp down, the crimp cover, which is a little bead, which is decorative, and it will then cover the crimp to make it look more aesthetically pleasing, if you like. Yeah, it looks like a little it's like a round bead. like a bead, doesn't it? Bead. Yeah, because yeah. you do squish these together as well, and if I just show, give you the profile of that so you can see the side, you will squish that together as well to cover the whole of your crimp. Mm. And when that's closed, it does, if you like, look like a bead. Yeah. Just a little decorative bead. So they're really, really pretty. So you do need those. So that's your crimp and your crimp covers. Your jump rings, which are basically your connectors, which you will need to attach, say, a lobster claw fastening to your chain with. You've got your earring posts here, your shepherd's hook posts, two sets of those. And you've got your head pins as well. Your head pins, you could even just use these as earring findings if you wanted to. Pop a gemstone onto your... Um, head pin and you could make a shepherd's hook with that if you wanted to really really simple design but they are nine to five sterling silver and they are gold plated so we are talking cream of the crop you've also got an eight inch length of your chain here as well perfect for a bracelet so really simple jewelry making you could if you wanted to just attach your jump ring and your lobster claw fastening to the ends of the chain and you've got yourself a beautiful bracelet there minimal mm. jewellery making and something really really pretty again you could cut that if you wanted to and use that in your earrings 45 pieces in total you've got 10 of your crimps you've got 10 of your crimp covers you've got um three of your 925 jump rings there you have and they are five millimeters apologies you've got 15 of your ball head pins there you've got one of your eight inch length cable chains there Two pairs of your earring shepherd's hooks and one... Oh, you should have two lobster... Oh, I do have two lo lobster claw fastenings, I beg your pardon. You've got two different sizes, one at 5 by 9 and one at 6 by 11 millimetres in size there. So 45p... Never. For gold-plated sterling silver, £14.95. And 95 pence. That's incredible, isn't it? Incredible, incredible value. Well done if you have already managed to check that one out. If you haven't, I would be checking that out very, very quickly at that price tag. It's time for another star buy. I did just say to Angela that now she's put the name Alison into my head <laughs> even more so. <laughs> I wonder how many times I'm going to do I'm so sorry. I'm terrible. Do you know, one of my very, very, very good friends, Helen. Um, what did I call her for about a year? I was calling her something else. Some, Karen. That was it. Karen. Oh, Karen. Helen. Yeah. For about a year. I met her. I was calling her Karen forever. And then uh, another friend, another mutual friend, went, do you mean Helen? It's like, Helen? Isn't that what I've been saying? No, you've been calling her <laughs> Karen for the past 12 months. <laughs> she answered. <laughs> she didn't tell me. Have a look at these beautiful amber. Now, the amber that I had yesterday, really, really popular, went very, very quickly. I love the multicolours you've got in this strand here. They are so earthy so beautiful i was saying yesterday with the amber as well you know if you've never ever felt amber before you need to next time you go shopping if you see any wherever you see any just pick up a bracelet you'll be so surprised at the weight of this because you just can't feel it it is so light in weight now amber is the least dense gemstone of them all the least dense it's so wearable mm. and it has this warmth to mm. it doesn't it that is so stunningly beautiful you have millions and millions we're talking 50 million years of history locked inside this gemstone that's a lot of history isn't it incredible gemstone formed from the fossilized tree resin tree sap 
And um, over millions and millions of years, through to all the elements, pressure and heat and whatnot, that is what has given us amber, this incredible gemstone. And often, if you've seen, ever seen any rough amber, or you've seen the rough that we've had here before, um, we've got a few insects trapped inside our amber, and you can often find that as well. And I would think they could potentially be insects that are now extinct. You know, 50 million years of history we're talking with this gemstone. Now, the majority of ours does come from Poland. So if you live on the east coast of the UK or you go on holiday on the east coast, keep your eyes peeled when you go for a walk on the beach because it can be found uh, washed up on the shore. I'd love that. Imagine that. Forget your metal detector. <laughs> get your amber detector eyes out. <laughs> Looking for amber. I love this gemstone so much. And again, I was saying yesterday to Deb Golford that it is one of those gemstones that a lot of people are fascinated by. So much so that my seven-year-old son pinched a amber pendant from myself because of Jurassic Park. It was really fascinating gemstone. It's incredible. And I think it's one of those that you can never mistake for another gemstone. Sometimes we have gemstones that may look like others, so you might mistake them for something else. Not with amber. There is nothing yeah. else quite like this gemstone, yeah. is there? You yeah. know, it's one of those gemstones that's really well known, yeah. like your amethyst. If people see it, they know exactly what it is. You've got those gorgeous cognac hues, beautiful honey hues with this gemstone. And every single one on this strand is completely different. They are so, it's like liquid gold, mm. isn't it, amber? It's so, it's, as you say, it's so desirable. It's one yeah. of those very few gemstones that a trader or a business mm -hmm. will just sell yeah you will have you know lots of businesses that sell just amber yeah. and they specialize in it because it's so desirable um it's also in this particular strand unisex as well because oh, that will work so well in gents and you yeah. bracelets for young men as well you know you've got the three different shades you can separate them out mm -hmm use them all to get it's so versatile but oh, yeah. I, lo I love my amber i think yeah. i would have to go simple stretchies stacked up i just love it worn like this it's so beautiful but as you say you can separate all those colors out you can take the you yeah. know the honey hues the cognac hues the lemons in there as well separate them all out simple stretchy mm. bracelets and i said yesterday and i will say today that there isn't really anything that i would put with this debbie ball for just i said smoky quartz today i put the strand of fire opal next to this and it does work but for me i still think mm. it's a standalone gemstone i think just by itself for me i wouldn't put anything else with it it would be gold the findings that we've just yeah. had 925 gold plated um, is an absolute must for me with this gemstone because it is so desirable and of course if you're using 925 that is gold plated that will add value to your amber as well five millimeter beads you've got here and i'm just going to count them out for you because we don't measure we don't uh, measure amber in carat weight so i'm just going to count out how many you've got you've got two four six 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 40. Okay, there's a good, yeah, there's approximately 80 gemstones on the strand here. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of amber that you have there. And look at that colour. It's just glowing, isn't it? 0800 644 655 pounds and 95 pence for you this afternoon. Well done, collector in Pembrokeshire, Belinda in Buckinghamshire, Linda in Midlothian, Louise in Hertfordshire, collector in County Antrim, Sue in Murray, Amanda in Lanarkshire, you're there as well. And again, if you go to any of those mm. silver boutiques and you see amber set into mm. sterling silver, it's not at the lower price no, end, is it, it at all? For the, for the smaller pieces as well. Yeah. There's so much amber on this strand, 42 centimetre strand that you've got here. M-E-G-Y 45 is your code for this one. Two stretches, easily, mm. easily. Mm. Debbie in New Jersey says, um, I went the other day to the Winter Village in New York City. Oh, well gel. Oh, can you imagine that? Um, it's all vendor. There was one that uh, had only mm. amber jewellery. Mm. I was fascinated by his shop. This is the thing, yeah. Debbie, New Jersey. It is one of those gemstones. Because I think every single piece is individual, you could pick up 15 pendants, couldn't you? And, yeah. and look at every single one. Yeah. And you'd have to choose a favourite one because they're all so different and individual. 
Yeah. It can't go wrong with amber. Definitely it's not. And as you say, unisex as well. You know, great for gents pieces. You know, whether you could macrame with this beautifully yeah. as well, couldn't you? Look fabulous in macrame. Uh, Carolyn Dumfries in Galloway, Tracy in Nottinghamshire, Louise in Hertfordshire, Collect in County Antrim, Amanda in Lanarkshire, Sylvia in Merseyside, you've just joined me. Dee in South Yorkshire, Mavis in Nottinghamshire, you're there as well. Congratulations. If you haven't started dialing yet, do it now. And if you're on that web with this in your basket, do get checking out as soon as you possibly can fabulous okay next star by what's our next star by i left my sheets in the dressing room oh the cubes the cubes i was just thinking the cubes <laughs> the cubes and um, the pricing cubes oh they've gone over there mike and um, the pricing cubes these are brand new especially for angela on our show today um, because she is the business queen um, she will tell you, oh, steady mic. Um, Angela will tell you anything you need to know about a lot about law. Do you know a lot about the laws of trading? <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Um, I'm not a legal expert. Yeah. Um, I will say. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I do pride myself on my yeah, um, knowledge and experience. Yeah. Um, in terms of you know all the regulations, um, yeah. some of the you know the Sale of Goods Act. Um, which is surra surrounds and sort of provide guidance around yeah. selling and pricing and you know mm. um, so yeah and and also you know I've been selling my own work yeah. for, for many years so have a lot of experience you've about had so many people set up haven't you so many people set up businesses well, yeah. and I know um, Lizette in Germany I haven't seen Lizette in Germany yes, for quite a while course. you helped her by oh, Skype did, didn't you yeah, yeah. yeah Skype to yeah. set up her shop that's incredible absolutely Genius. she's doing so well I've worked with so yeah Lizette was, was a yeah. wonderful lady she'd worked really hard she's doing really well with her business That's brilliant um i've had so many people over mm. well i'm going into my fourth year now wow. running courses here our business yeah. course um so many people thought they could never sell their work and are now <gasps> doing so i've had an email from a lady uh, just before christmas and she's now um giving up her job to <gasps> run her business full time so you know all That's spectrums yeah. yeah if you've got any questions possible. for angela uh, do send them into 60777 starting message with the word jm studio so with angela being with us today um being a crafter um, we thought we'd bring you these today. Brand new number cubes, pricing cubes for you, for your craft stall. They're fab, aren't they? They're coming up at three o'clock. We've got a huge quantity. There's absolutely loads here. Absolutely loads of them. These are brilliant. We've got, you've even got decimal points in there as well. I never saw those before. Those are coming up at three o'clock, so not too long to wait for those at all. Right. Let's bring you multicolored onyx for you have a look at these wow gold and coppery hues bronzes you've got here as well how fab would these look with your wire work i love these party that's what these say to me party i say that now <laughs> come five o'clock i'll be hoping i've got a text message of my friends to cancel isn't that terrible? <laughs> it is. Isn't it that is. terrible? That's not I'm good. just joking. I don't mean that. I'd be gutted, I think. I'd be gutted. I would. Gonna have a nice dinner and some bubbles. It's New Year. Um, 100 carats of your multi. It's New Year's Eve today. It's 2016 I know. tomorrow. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Brand I can remember year. the Millennium <gasps> Eve like it was a couple of years ago. 16 years? I know. It's mad, no. isn't it? Flame, flame. 100 carats of your multi gallon coated onyx plain round you've got here. Eight millimetre rounds. I love gemstones like this. If you're looking at a design that you've made, perhaps with any gemstones, and you just think, do you know what? It's missing something. It just needs something. Throwing in one of your coated gemstones, whether it be your hematite, whether it be your onyx, whether it be your pyrite, throwing in that splash of luster can make all the difference with a design and that's why i love these gemstones so much your eight millimeter gemstones really really versatile so you can use them in your simple stretches you can use them in earrings you can use them in necklaces if you wanted to but just one of these wire wrapped into a ring will look fantastic party gemstone xn are you at 27 hundred carats Nine pounds and ninety-five pence here. You've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-two, four, six, eight, ten. Thirty gemstones in total. You've got there. They're fantastic. So so lustrous. And at nine pounds and ninety-five pence for thirty gemstones, 
That's pennies each, isn't it? Pennies inch. This is a new one on me. I've never seen Katie Do you know, we don't do it very often. We don't do it very often. And there's quite a few times that I've thought, why would we do that? Why would, it's just to bring you that yeah. luster and that colour. Yeah. It's fab, isn't it? Really, really fab. But with onyx as well there, you've got a really durable gemstone. Yeah. ZX, no, ZNRU27 is your code for these. 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewellerymaker.com. Well done if you have managed to check those out. Okay, um, Toby, no pressure. Can I do the obsidian? He said yes. <laughs> He said yes. <laughs> he said he, he was going to say that anyway. Great minds and all that. Have a look. Oh, it's like something from outer space. I love, love, love these. I don't know if this is going to come across on screen, but there's one. Where's it gone now? I just saw it and it's vanished. Oh, there we go. It's almost like a chatoyancy with this gemstone. They're like little planets. They are just phenomenal, your obsidian. Completely natural gemstone created from the rapid cooling of lava, your obsidian. 580 carats. Now, I just know that you're all going to be beside yourself sat at home right now. These are so versatile, aren't they? I mean, you've got that gemstone that is a fabulous colour that's going to go with everything and anything in your stash from your different coloured wire to your different coloured findings to your different coloured gemstones it's a win-win gemstone 16 millimetres in size that is quite possibly the largest round I've ever seen here at Jewelry Maker yeah yeah I, I don't think I've seen that. bigger than 16 millimetres I'm sure I haven't yeah 16 millimetres for me that's a record round mm -hmm. Look at this for a simple stretchy bracelet. See, that is impact jewellery. Yeah. Impact yeah. jewellery is what you have. I mean, you could go to town on this, couldn't you? You could re-strand and have the Hannah Osborne look, mm. that huge, chunky necklace with all those rounds on. That would look yeah. incredible. But again, just one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, sometimes we think of statement pieces mm -hmm. being heavily embellished. Yeah. But for me, just simply stranded, that is a statement yeah. in itself. Definitely. And, you know, and for me, I, I know I have lost sales in the past because I haven't had mm -hmm. a simple black necklace. Yeah. So for me, having a black necklace and black jewellery is an absolute must. It is, isn't it? Because must. it will go with everything in your wardrobe. It can dress up an outfit. You can wear it with your jeans and your t-shirt. You can wear it with your little black dress, couldn't yeah. you? There isn't anything it wouldn't work with in your wardrobe. That's why so many people love this gemstone. And to have the biggest rounds I think we've ever brought to you here at Jewelry Maker, 16 millimetre rounds you've got here. They are phenomenal. Uh, Kathy, well done to you. Tr Tr Harris? Where's, where's Tr Harris? Tr Harris? Scotland, maybe? Is it? Sounds like it. Yeah, it does, Harris. doesn't it? Tr yeah. Harris. Tr Harris. We shall get on the search engine. Uh, Kathy, well done. Collecting in anger. Susan in South Yorkshire. Belinda. Oh, you are kidding me. It's in Wales. Oh. No, I've no, <gasps> never seen it. Never, I've never been there. Where, where am I? Can you just have a look on a map and tell me exactly where it is? Because I don't believe you. <laughs> I hope I haven't offended anybody in Wales, Scotland. Oh, I think it's more likely to be me that's offended <laughs> someone than you. <laughs> I've never heard of it. I oh, do apologise. Maybe it's like it's like the village where my nan's from. You know, there's one road in, one road out. No one's ever heard of it unless you're from. The population is like 20. I probably drove past it the other day. <laughs> yeah, South Wales. Now Pontypridd. Oh, yeah, probably. I've, I've got to say that I don't look at road signs. I know my way there and I know my way back. I'm like, especially at Christmas <laughs> in the traffic. Um, there you go. You learn something every day. Every day is a school day here at Jewelry Maker. How fab.
with this look with the kunzai. Mm. Oh, hello. Oh, my gosh. Demain. Incredible. 580 carats of your rainbow obsidian. You're around six. No wow. wonder everyone's multi buying. Vivian, you've got two. Uh, Belinda in Buckinghamshire, you've got two. Yvette in the West Midlands, you've got two as well. Congratulations to you. There's so many. Seven ninety. Do you know, Angela? I would sell one of these at that price tag on my craft store. Oh yeah, one of those gemstones. Just one of those on the drop on the nearing or in the pendant. Yeah. Definitely. But, but that size is also great for all your back charms and key rings yeah. as well, your wind chimes, your home accessories. That's a you know, great size mm. to have around. Now you home. were saying, was it you that were saying that the charms are some of the most popular? For me, yeah. without a doubt. Really? This, um, this last sales period yeah. from um, October right through to the first week of December, I can honestly say hand on heart, fifty percent of all my sales were, back my, were my key wow. rings and back charms. That's brilliant, isn't it? They are Absolute, very on trend, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Brilliant. So many of you there are multi-buying, so well done if you have managed to get that. Right, let's do the Kunzite for you now. Now, let's make no bones about it. This is going to be a considered purchase. This is Kunzite we're talking about here. Kunzite and Morganite, I think, are number one and two for being the most feminine gemstones. That soft, mm. subtle hue that you have with Kunzite is so beautiful, so soft and so feminine. To be fair, we do not have an awful lot of Kunzite here at Jewelry Maker, do we? Now, kunzite is a very, very phosphorescent gemstone, and basically what that means is it has the ability to retain light. So just like the luminous hands on a watch, um, it will soak up the energy, absorb that daylight, then take it into a darkened room, literally glows in the dark. And because of that, it is often referred to as the evening gemstone. Very romantic, boys. If you're looking for a gemstone for your other halves, I'd make it kunzite. Win, win. <laughs> Definitely. 380 carats you have here. Now, JFK actually bought Jackie Onassis a Kunzite ring to celebrate one of their anniversaries. It's a very sought after gemstone. It can command astronomical prices in the industry. For us to be able to get this here at Jewelry Maker is phenomenal. For us to be able to bring you 380 carats of this gemstone is phenomenal. 12 millimeter rounds you have. Do you know what I love about Kenza? It's those soft pinks, it's those lilac mm. hues, those mm. lavender hues that you get within the gemstone as well. Yeah. They're just so feminine. It doesn't get any more girly than this for me. This and Morganite, absolute mm. dream. We are going to do something ridiculous. Bearing in mind this is Kunzite and you have not 0.38 carats, not 38 carats, 380 carats. I can, hand on heart, tell you that on my craft stall, one of these gemstones on my craft stall in solid sterling silver in a pendant would be no less than 80 pounds no matter where I'm selling because of this gemstone. 80 pounds a pendant for me, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. That's a good holiday. <laughs> That's a really good holiday. That's some spending money for your cruise. I was going to say, you paid for both of us then, Hannah. <laughs> that would be incredible. And when I say 80 pounds each, I mean independence with 925 sterling silver. I would not be compromising on this. We are about to do something really silly. Really, really silly. 54 pounds and 95 pence. <laughs> Let's put another figure in front of that five. Let's put like a, a four there or, or a three on a good day. 54 pounds and 95 pence. How on earth have we managed to get this down? I thought that was the prize. <laughs> Thirty nine wow. pounds wow. and ninety five pence. How many gemstones did I say I had on this strand? Thirty, thirty four, thirty six. 
per gemstone. This wow. is bonkers. This really is bonkers. Leslie in Hampshire, well done. Massive, massive congratulations. Uh, well done to Patricia in Surrey, Belinda in Buckinghamshire, Heidi in Cambridgeshire, Patricia in the West Midlands, Claire in Surrey. It might be that you want to pass your deals on to your customers, and I totally get that. If you want to sell these at £10 each, that's entirely up to you. But do you know what? Do get your certificate of authenticity. Mm. It's well worth having because sometimes, and, and you know Angela very yeah. well, if you underprice, people will oh, doubt its authenticity, yeah. won't they? Oh, of course, of course. And do you know, sometimes it is about really understanding mm -hmm. what you have in your hand. Yeah. And because if you don't understand the rarity, the quality, it's easy then to you know underprice it yeah and if a customer recognizes it recognizes Absolutely. the quality they're not going to be like and, you know i've had that before now i don't believe i price my stuff on the low side yeah you know my stuff is like mid to you know um and i've had people this christmas period say to me well that can't be genuine gemstones yeah. at that price you see it happens, and, and i've had it? it you know yeah and we do it in life generally anyway you know if, if a car is too low in price you're gonna buy it or is there something wrong with yeah, it you know absolutely. it's one of those isn't it 39 pounds and 95 pence incredible no catch no small print just toby mm. is very silly WSGP16. <laughs> well done, Diane in Greater London, Majida, Lisa, Heidi, Patricia, June in London. Lots of you coming through there. You need to be checking out. You've got to get this one home. You have to get this. I absolutely love this. Well done. Um, let's squeeze one more in. Right. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Over here. Ooh, square jump rings. Now, yesterday we had the triangular shaped um, jump rings. These ones, the square ones, these are great for creating some really contemporary pieces for connecting your other jump rings too as well. They can create some fantastic, fantastic looks. And because you've got the corners within the jump rings as well, they fit together perfectly. Now, you have 100 seven millimeter jump rings, square ones. Do you know what I don't? I maybe, maybe had them in a matrix box before. I've had the triangular shaped ones. I've had the oval shaped ones. I've really not seen the square ones very often at all. Afla, the queen of chainmail, would have a field day with these, I tell you. IXAZ35 is your code. Rose gold plated copper you've got here. Beautiful hue. And actually, with the kunzite that we've just had, all day, every day, rose gold plated. All day, every day. Oh, 800, 644, 655, seven pounds and 95 pence for you. Incredible, you've got 100 there. Do you want to come in and you want to multi-buy? Please feel free to do so. Fill your boots. Buy as many as you like. Susan in South Yorkshire, uh, Julie in Yorkshire as well. Congratulations to you. 0800 644 655. Just creating a design using just these as well. Maybe popping them onto um, a necklace, onto a chain, so you've got that movement and you've got that yeah. luster there. It's quite contemporary, yeah, isn't it? It is. I love like the square um, jump rings because yeah. it's so contemporary. Mm. It, it's going to give you a different feel and a different look. Yeah. Even to your regular chainmail designs, mm -hmm. it just brings a new element to it. Yeah. But even if you don't want to use them in chainmail designs, just having them within your design as connectors or you know as a charm mm -hmm. is is great because it's got that real angular contemporary yeah. shape. But also use them with things like your polymer clays and your resins. Of course. You know, yeah. gorgeous. They're so versatile. They're fantastic, aren't they? Um, lots of you there with these in baskets. So well done. Do make sure you're checking everything out. The pricing cubes, brand new just for Angela today, are coming up after the break as a star buy. So don't go anywhere. And we'll be back with you in just a few minutes' time. Did you know when you book on the Jewelry Maker Workshop, you are given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker Shop? 
You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. from the Sri Lankan word tumali, meaning mix, because this colourful gem was often confused with other gemstones. Sri Lanka was also responsible for tourmaline's first appearance in Europe when it was sold to the Dutch traders in the 1600s. Here at Jewellery Maker, we love seeing your jewellery creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. I think Labradorite, when you think about it, is as beautiful as a diamond because it gives you, for me, more amazement than a diamond. You look at it and it does something really unexpected, like a lightning bolt. Labradorite is one of those gemstones from Jewelry Maker that is always going to be a top seller. The Labradorite that you get from Jewelry Maker has got I extreme amounts of labradorescence. The colour saturation is just superb. And that's really indicative of the quality that we can get for you here at Jewelry Maker. Um, it seems to reflect your moods as well. Whatever kind of mood you're in, whatever you put it with, it seems to bring out those gorgeous colours. So it really is a true chameleon gemstone. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Did you know that no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? We here at Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Um, if you have just tuned in, you've missed out on so many treats already. We've had so much for you today. That goodness sake, we've just taken it down to silly price. Ridiculous. And that wasn't the only thing either. Um, I've just been playing with these on the break. I'm having so much fun. Um, they are brand new today. And we've had them um, just for our Angela because she is the business queen, really. She likes to give you all your hints and tips about craft fairs and the like. Um, if you are a crafter, these are brilliant. These will save you so much hassle. Buying tags, wasting tags, throwing them away if you've got the price wrong on there. These are fabulous. Now, these are your pricing cubes. You've probably seen them in the jeweler's windows before. Um, they have them everywhere, don't they? In shop windows, on craft stores. They're brilliant and there's so much here. You've got 380 pieces in total. 380 pieces. You've got all of your numbers here and there's a lot of these. It's not like you've only got a couple. So, you know, sometimes, <laughs> John is actually going to talk about them. You know, when, when, you, when you have children and you've got those foam letters that stick on the bath wall. Well, you're trying to write something and you run out, or fridge magnets, yeah. the letters, and trying to spell something and you run out of a particular letter. So annoying, that is. Um, these, you've got absolutely loads of each number here. 380 pieces in total. You've got your decimal points there as well. 
and you've got your zeros here. Now these are brand new, brand new, never ever been seen before. You've got so many pieces here that even if you've got a huge castle, even if you've got a shop, you can come in and you can multi-buy. So you have 20 of the number zeros, 20 of your number ones, 20 of your number twos, threes, fours, five, six, seven, eights, and nines, 20 of each of those. You've got 60 of your pound signs, you've got 60 of your decimal points, and you've got 60 of your double zero cubes there as well. There's tons, isn't there? absolutely tons i think this is such a great idea and angela actually said she's just popped off but she'll be back in a second she actually said just before we came back there she said why have i never thought of this why has no one ever thought of this here at jewelry maker before especially crafters because it is one of those things i think that you know if you are setting up a craft and you've got a you've got to hand write every single tag and then if you get it wrong do you scroll out you just throw it away so you're effectively wasting money with your string and your tags and your labels or whatever it is also how professional do these look because these are the tags that you see in jewelers windows you know this this is what they have this is what you see they are so professional looking and you know we talk a lot of guest designers we talk about a lot at if you are selling your jewellery, and it doesn't matter whether that be on a website, you know, you could photograph your jewellery with these in the, in the photograph as well. Whether it be a website, whether it be um, a craft store, whether it be a shop. If you're selling your jewellery, it's about looking professional. It's about people taking you seriously, isn't it? You know, it's about when we talk about finishing the back of a design, people will always turn the back of that design over. You've got to be professional in this game, haven't you, if you're selling your jewellery? Yeah. If you want to be mm. taken seriously and at the prices that your jewellery is worth and commands, yeah. you've got to have the whole package. Mm. You've got to have the look, the presentation, you know, the, the uh, equipment and everything. And something like this is just superb. It's going to give you that slight edge. Yeah, I think because, so. Because, I mean, I've never been to a craft stall or a sales event and seen anybody with price tags like this. But the, so if you've got it, it shows you are serious yeah. about your Definitely. art and your craft and your business. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's the thing in, as well, you can just use them with everything that you're doing. So if you've got the shop, you've also got the craft stall at a craft fair, you've also got the website, you can use them for absolutely everything, can't you? And there's so many here. I love the fact that we have these. I'm just, and as Andrew said, why have we never thought yeah. of this before? Absolutely. I oh, know, they're fantastic, aren't they? 0800 644 655 or on the web today, jewelrymaker.com. You're the, the first people to get your hands on these. We've got a great quantity for you today. There's lots and lots there. I think you've got 60 of your double zeros, 60 of your decimal points in there as well. And you've got 20 each of the numbers there. These, and, and this is the thing as well, Andrew. I was just saying, that there's, there's so much here. Yeah. There's so, you know, I used to, if, you, if you've got the magnetic letters and you'd write a message on the fridge, you'd run out of a certain letter and then you couldn't finish your words. <laughs> so annoying. You've got so much yeah. here. You, you've literally can, can price everything up on your crystal, no Absolutely. problem at all. Absolutely. And, you know, if, you know, I'm sure everybody's had this experience if you're selling and then you're using your tags and your tags get crumbled and of they course, get crumpled yeah. and then they snap off and, mm. you know, then it all gets jumbled yeah. together and, you know, and you can end up in the right state. Yeah. And in terms of pricing, you know, one of the things that um, the sales of act the sale of goods specify is that your pricing must be clear and not misleading so if you have this mm. what you everything for like 39 pounds or yeah. 29 pounds you can group together yeah and have your pricing clearly mm -hmm. displayed yeah there's going to be no question no you know unsurety about what the price mm -hmm. is clearly displayed that's brilliant it's is it it couldn't be any clearer yeah. than this either and as you say i never thought of that before but obviously not everybody can understand everyone else's handwriting and sometimes it's not clear no. is Absolutely. it when you look at prices and i've had that where i've like you know quickly scribbled something yeah and um 
I think it's £15. Pounds, yeah, well, you know but, it's 15 Exactly. But, yeah. but to the customer, it might look like a zero. Yeah. And then, mm. you know, what do you do? Yeah. You know, you're going to challenge, you know, their understanding or yeah, you're going to yeah. stick with yours. And that mm -hmm. can actually lose you a sale. But having something like this, clear, no misunderstanding. Yeah, and absolutely. then once that piece is sold, you can bring out another piece and easily change your price tag. Yeah. Perfect. God, I wish I was at home now because <laughs> I would be getting these. Well, Absolutely hopefully, superb. Alison, we've got a huge, a lot of them have gone already. Huge amounts have gone already. Um, but we did start off with a spectacular amount for you. Look, wow. look, look what I made. Look what I made on the break. Wow. Nineteen pounds and ninety. Wow. Not very clear, wow. isn't it? Very yeah. clear and precise. There. Nineteen pounds and ninety. That's two hundred and eighty pieces wow. there. And you know, if you've got your storage box, mm -hmm. you can just put the of your course. little the storage you know, that we had earlier on in yeah. the storage compartment. All the numbers. Yeah. So it's nice and easy. It's mm -hmm. not going to take up room. You yeah. know, gone for me. Gone are the little tags with the strings. Looking no for way. a pen. I mean, Looking Absolutely. for a pen. That's the bane of my life, that is. Absolutely. I tell you. Even Scott earlier on was writing with a pencil. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, there's no pens anywhere. <laughs> That's what yeah. it's like, isn't it? Yeah. With pens. These are brilliant. Must Absolutely have, must fantastic. Have. Um, there's a lot of you multi mine Rachel in Cheshire has got two, Valerie in Essex has got two, Veronica in Gloucestershire has two, Candy in London has got two. Again, if you want to multi buy, please feel free to do so. These are one of those things that are going to sell out very, very quickly here at Jewelry Maker. It's like when the penny drops, isn't it? You're yeah. like, yeah, absolutely. this is the answer to all of my problems. <laughs> all those years yeah. you've been rooting around for pens in your craft bag. And as you say, price tags getting all tatty That's and right. stuff like that. If you want to look professional, if you want everything to be just as, these yeah. are perfect. And you've got 380 pieces there as well. Still lots and lots of you coming in. I've got about 50 of you with these in baskets at this moment in time. These will go, won't they? They're just so, so popular. WZZX30. Six is your code for these. Never ever been seen before. I want to see your photographs now of your, of your professional craft stalls. I'm so excited about this because you know I wouldn't know where outside of jewel yeah. maker to get things like yeah. this because you know that professional jewelers have them. Of course, but you, yeah. could, you wouldn't think I wouldn't yeah. know where to go and get them. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that we've got them, I know it's brilliant. It's so isn't it? exciting. So it really fantastic. Is. They're wipe clean as well. You can yeah. wipe them down. You're never going to have to be buying tags yes. ever again. Having you wouldn't, would you? She's just got those I love them. Genius. I love them. Uh, still about 40, 50 in baskets at this moment in time. Catherine in Staffordshire, uh, Andrea in Norfolk, Collector in Angus, Laurie in Cambridgeshire, Collector in Commandershire, Maureen in Fife, Andrew in Hampshire, Collector in Greater London, Collector in Greater Manchester, Collector in Berkshire, Sarah in Tyne and Weir, Collector in Derbyshire. It will be fastest fingers first. I don't think these are going to be on air very many times at all before they are completely gone. Loads and loads. Hundreds and hundreds have already sold out. And there's a lot of you multi-buying as well. You know, maybe you think that you're going to need more than 380 pieces. If you're going to use them, then do. Just get as many as you're going to need today because that price tag is incredible. Individually priced, that is so that just is incredible, good. isn't it? it Value. Is Absolutely. I'm also thinking if you know you're doing parties as yeah. well at home, and you know you know what it's like. You've got you know your friends over, mm -hmm. and they're all you know inquiring what's the price of this, and you're trying to find you know pull the price tag to check. Yeah. You know, and you could be losing a potential sale because you you know you're dealing with somebody. Mm -hmm. If you, everything is priced <laughs> with these. Sorry, Alison. Can you see those balloons? Just the, 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 how much the balloons are moving. That's the air conditioning. That's the air conditioning in the studio. You know when I'm moaning that I'm cold? <laughs> That's the air conditioning. That is blowing a gale over there. It's absolutely blowing a gale. Fabulous. Um, if you did lose Andrew there, she was getting very excited. She, <gasps> she, just, she just lost her microphone. <laughs> she was wailing and flailing. <laughs> Oh, she'll be back this year. Do, do you take your time? Our mic will help you. No worries at all. Collecting Workshop, Margaret in Tyne and we are Wendy in Berkshire. That's how cold it is. The balloons are blowing everywhere. Honestly. 
Uh, collect it in Angus, Laurie collecting commodity in Maureen in five, Angela. There's absolutely tons of you here. Now keep coming through for those. You can still keep coming through on the web and on the telephone lines. But if you have them in your basket, you must check them out as a matter of urgency. I don't think I've seen anything go that quickly, um, as quickly as these have gone before. That's incredible. Uh, Miss Janet Weldon, you've got yours, Janet in Yorkshire, Tracy in the Channel Isles, and Marie in Worcestershire, Maura in County Kildare, Yvette, Kathleen in Tyne and Weir, you've got two. Nancy in Bristol, you've just got yours on the telephone lines as well. If you are on the telephone lines, there is a tiny bit of a queue, but it's a free telephone number. Not going to cost you a single penny. Not even one penny to hold on those phone lines for a couple of minutes. So well done indeed if you are there. You can keep dialing for those. Keep checking the website as well, www.jewelrymaker.com. Anything left? Where on earth is that breeze coming from? I know, that's what I'm saying. It's like actual wind. <laughs> it's breezing. Has somebody like opened lots of doors and it's circulating round or what on earth is that? Even the Christmas decorations on the tree are moving. This is weird. This is weird. It's a ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> Stop now. <laughs> It stopped. So it's going again over here. Is there a fan on? What is that? Nineteen pounds <laughs> and ninety-five pence. WZZX thirty-six. If you've got those in your baskets, check out as soon as you can. Fabulous. Right. Let's move on to the kit. Now this, oh this is ridiculous. Somebody has opened a door. I'm not kidding Mike, somebody has opened something. That's ridiculous, you can feel it can't you Angela? I can feel yeah. a draft at my face. Yeah, I can feel it. I mean, I know there's a storm outside, but that's honestly. It is windy outside. It is what? It's, it's quite cool in there, it's quite windy outside, so I don't know. Yeah, but where that is that is wind weird. coming from? We're in a closed room. Right, anyway. Look, really Mike's just noticed all the Christmas tree decorations really moving now on the tree. Now. Right. That is spooky. <gasps> yeah, it has only just started, it wasn't doing it earlier. Right, like, right, anyway, we'll try and find the source. Can we just crack on with the job in hand, please? Um, statement earrings, mm-hmm. Now, this kit for me, this would be, for me personally, a high-end, higher-end kit. This would be one of the kits that we would see more around the 39.95 mark, definitely. My favorite blue gemstone you have in this kit. We haven't had a strand like this for, I, in fact, I can't even remember the last strand of kyanite that we had. I cannot remember the last strand of kyanite that we had. It's been an absolute age. You have 420 carats. 400 and 20 carats that is a colossal carat weight collector's gemstone now can i just say when i have previously worked on gemporia we bought you blue kyanite then we had a parcel of green kyanite which was exceptionally rare and that was for us that was uh, that was the big thing about green kyanite was the rarity of it because we just hadn't seen it before and i can remember when we got it into the building and it was set into jewelry the majority of that solid gold jewelry we were beside ourselves especially for me as a lover of kyanite anyway this strand you have a real mix of the greens and the blues this for me is a collector's strand like no other collector's strand I've ever seen before here at Jewelry Maker. To have kyanite is one thing, to have those blues is something else, but to have the greens and the blues is just incredible. 
and I cannot believe the carrot weight that you've got here. I wouldn't be surprised if collectors were coming in and multi-buying this kit for this strand alone. 420 carats of your kyanite you've got here. 11 by 2 to 38 by 5 millimetres in size. Now, quite often with these strands, we've seen gas designer Jan um, a lot with these. Take them all individually and set one into a half drill pendant bale or wire wrap one into a ring. Just one of these alone in any design is a real statement, real big statement. I have to get this kit, I have to. Please just leave me one, that's all I will ask. 420 carats of your kyanite there. 11 by 2 to 38 by 5 millimetres in size. You've also got jump rings galore. Have a look at these. I haven't had any jump rings for ages. These are fab. Um, you have your copper plated brass jump rings here. At six millimetres and seven millimetres, you've got 200 in each pack there. So you've got 200 of the, oh, beg your pardon, 250 of the six millimetre, 250 of the seven millimetre there. And you've got 700 pieces. Oh, yes. 700 of your beads here. Um, your beads are four millimetres in size, 700. They are going to go such a long, long way. I'm loving the copper plating here as well. That colour is fab, isn't it? Gorgeous. Really, really vintage. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, love them. And you've got your antique copper um, shepherd hooks here as well. You've got ten pairs. Ten pairs of these. I love this kit. I love this kit. We just don't see this colour, do we? 0800 644 655 <laughs> ZB. I tell you what, I don't know what's going on in this studio today. <laughs> oh, off. Somebody's opened the doors or the. In fact, I think the roof. Maybe just check the roof, oh, Mike, oh, because oh, it oh. actually feels like the roof is <laughs> off. There's now flies in the studio trying to headbutt Angela. <laughs> What's going on? Day. Last day of the year. We won't forget this one in a hurry, will we? Oh, 100. Six triple four, six double five. You've got your beads, you've got your shepherd's hook, seven millimetre and six millimetre jump rings. Oh, well done, Ryan. There's something coming from somewhere. 420 carats of kyanite. We need to stop there. This strand of kyanite alone for the greens and the blues, for me, even in nugget form, the size of these, the colour that you have here, this is, it shouldn't be under £50, this strand alone, we're at £34.75, ZB, GC, 86 is your code for this one, 0800, 644, 655, multi-buyers there already 20 i want to get the tags out and put the price there 25 pounds and 95 pence for you today i have no words i actually have no words for that price this kyanite is off the scale anybody that works in the gem industry will agree today the colors that you have in this strand are ridiculous i've got linen tyne and we are buying two collect it in bedfordshire you've got two Collect in Greater London, you've got two as well. Dan in Greater London, you've just checked yours out. Patricia in Greater Manchester, Andrea in Wiltshire, Laurie in Cambridgeshire, Karen in Northumberland, Janice in Ayrshire, Collect in Cambridgeshire. If you've not dialed yet, you need to be doing this now. Get this kyanite home, take it again out, outside into natural daylight. These colours are phenomenal. I've never ever seen a strand quite like this. If we were looking at, if you like, multi coloured kyanite set into jewellery in a boutique, I can't, I don't even think there'd be a price tag on it. I really, really don't. ZBGC86 is your code for this one. I've got about 20 of you with these in baskets, lots of you on the phone lines right now. It's all about confirmation. You're only gonna get this home if you confirm and you need to check out your baskets to do that. Don't worry about how many times you've logged in and checked out today. 
it doesn't matter you can log in and check out as many times as you like in any one 24-hour period so from midnight last night right up until midnight tonight one postage and packaging of just two pounds and 95 pence that's standard here in the uk well done lots of you still coming through there make sure you're checking them out right let's go over and have a look at angela's jewelry now the um, the brief for this was statement earrings and uh, i'm going to change my name to um Gloria. Gloria, that's it. <laughs> Gloria. <laughs> um, Gloria, because Gloria is the goddess of earrings. That's right. So Angela has um, incorporated Gloria into her design. Yep. <laughs> I love this. Have a look at our Gloria. I like to have a little bit of fun. She looks so, fab. So this is Gloria, the goddess of glorious earrings. <gasps> wow. <laughs> And she's wow. even wearing some fabulous kyanite oh, earrings. Oh, I know. Too. Look at that. <laughs> wow. It's incredible. She does look like a Gloria, doesn't she? Yeah. She's got a great big afro. Love it. Yeah. Absolutely. And some love plaits. It. Yeah. Looks so, fabulous. You know, if, if you can't have fun with your jewellery, what can you have fun with? And, and if you're selling, you know, if I was selling this collection, I would have Gloria yeah. in a glorious position. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm off with all my, uh, you know, fabulous... It's only 25 past three. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, do you know what I mean? In a high up yes. over of all course. my earring collections. Yeah. looking over. You know, looking over, mm -hmm. you know, attracting the attention oh, of people wow. walking by. And, you know, and she incorporates all the elements that yeah. we've got in the kit. Wow. So It's fantastic. Look at that, the kyanite. I mean, we don't see kyanite very often, do we? But no. have you ever seen no. any with those colours I've in? never seen kyanite this colour. Never. It's fantastic. I absolutely love all of the designs. I want you to look at these. I've been, I've been eyeing these up from over there for quite a while. These are fantastic, and I love what you've done with these. Thank you. They are real statement earrings. Aren't they fab? The thing is, with this kit as well, you've got so many jump rings and so many of those space beads. You could go on and on and on and on and on, couldn't you? And I've still got... I'm not surprised. I know. It's, it's really hard to get mm. to the end of a tube yeah, of these. Yeah. There were just so many spaces. Mm -hmm. And that's not to count all the pieces that ended up on my studio floor as well. You know? um, and these jump rings left over were from the yeah. kit. I've not even touched um, you wow. know, my other kit. So there's absolutely loads and loads and loads in there. But yeah, I love this kyanite. One, because I've never seen kyanite this colour. Yeah. And you've got lots of tones and shades coming through. But also, it works so fabulously with the chocolate tones. Yeah. We've never, I mean, I'm struggling to think of any other time that I've seen jump rings and, and space beads. In this colour yeah, before? No, we don't often. I've not. I can't think of. We don't have them. seen them. Do we? Often we really, really at don't. All. Um, they are fantastic and of course you don't have to use them all for earring designs if you want it's no. entirely up to you um what you save yours for, for in your stash um and you've got one two three four five six seven pairs of earrings and glorious gloria yep well, you've gone along well, hasn't it? yeah it has and so there's loads left over loads and i've used um i've been quite heavy with the jump rings and the and the um beads yeah you know in the mm. designs really so, have, you know loads why not? left over why not I love kyanite i'm never going to get over that kyanite because it's my favorite blue gemstone yeah. i think it's going to be one of those strands that i talk about you know when you compare it's like <laughs> boyfriends <laughs> <laughs> you always compare into the last one you know, I, I, I'm always going to compare this kyanite to, to, the, to the last strand that we had and, okay. and everything else will be compared to this. Yeah, this is like 
This is like husband material, this kyanite here, and every other kyanite shine will be compared to this here. This, for me, is perfection. Absolute perfection. Uh, £25 and 95 pence. ZBGC86 is your code for this one. Still a lot of you with these in baskets, so do get checking out for that one. Um, okay, Angela, which bits are you going right, to show us? Right, I'm going to show you these first two. Okay, fab. Okay, and on this first design here, um, I did a bracelet a Ooh. couple of uh, shows ago. I yeah. think it was my last show, and um, a lovely lady messaged me, um, and I thought I would demonstrate oh. demonstrate that today because yeah. she was um, asking for you know mm -hmm. the name the name of it and Fab. everything. So I thought I would do that. It's a lovely, lovely um, design, um, and if you're new to chain mail. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a really lovely, easy one to get into. Yeah. But again, you can extend it and it mm -hmm. turn it into a bracelet or a neckline yeah. piece as well. And it works with so many different sizes too. And chain mail is really easy as well once you get into it. It is. It, so it is. Um, when I start, I started my chain mail journey about five years ago when Debbie Bulford introduced it to the mm -hmm. channel, and. To be honest, it took me a while to get the yeah. hang of it, but once I got the hang, one day something just went click yeah. and I got it. I got it. Yeah. And I've absolutely loved it ever since. Um, and the interesting thing with chain mail is there are just so many weaves and yeah, patterns there is, yeah. out there. And once you get used to some of the basic um, designs and mm -hmm. basic weaves you can then go on and create your own weaves and your Love own it. patterns yeah. and then adapt mm -hmm. you know something like a byzantine yeah. yeah and do your own thing with it mm -hmm. and almost do a customized yeah. pattern on on your chain mail but also chain mail is well we know that it's huge mm -hmm. here at jewelry maker because flo has been amazing oh, taking it to yeah. new heights but mm -hmm. also I particularly yeah. love chainmail because it has that jeweler's shop window yeah, look. Definitely. Yeah. It really does, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, mm. and you know, depending on what materials you yeah. use, you can command all sorts of prices. Yeah. All sorts. Um, and it, it's great for men's jewellery mm -hmm. as well. I do a lot of Byzantine and box weave yeah. for men's pieces. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got the huge array of designs, very fancy for female designs. So you can go all sorts of places Fabulous, with it. it. All sorts. Well, I'm going to do, to do this design. Um, right, now okay. I'm, sure, I'm sure this has been shown yeah. many, many, many times. But when you receive your jump rings, they will come slightly open, mm. okay? Okay. So the ideal thing and the ideal technique is once you know how to open and close your jump rings, you're well away. Brilliant. Um, but it's also not just for working with chainmail designs. It's good to know how to open and close yeah. the jump ring anyway. Yeah, of course. Because it is. if you're using it as you know as a loop mm -hmm. on your design or yeah. you know to finish off a neckline piece, you need to understand how to close it properly. Because the last thing you want to do is leave a tiny little gap, and yeah, your cord is yeah. coming through it. Okay, so it comes slightly open, and don't be tempted to do what I do at home and use your fingers because you'll end up with really sore fingers so always use your pliers yeah I need my glasses for this <laughs> I always forget to put it's them start, on isn't it? <laughs> it is a start okay so um we're just going to give it a tiny little wiggle okay and that's just going to open it slightly if you bend it open if you open it too much it'll just distort yeah your jumping and there's it'll be really difficult to mm -hmm. get it back into shape so it's always good just to keep it um open it just a tiny okay. little bit and then to close it mm -hmm. you just go back and it's just very gentle if i can i don't know if you can see that there it's against my black top so it's not so easy to see so if you can see that Okay, but we're just going to yeah. rock it back and forth until you hear it click. Okay. You hear that? Yes, you heard the click. Yeah. So <laughs> when, you, when you hear that click, yeah. you know that your jump ring is properly closed. 
and if you're using it for um you know in your necklace designs or with beading thread or anything you know that your beading thread is not going to mm -hmm. slip through that loop so that is just a good basic yeah. technique for opening and closing the jumper mm -hmm. regardless of whether you're using it as part of your chainmail design okay so what i'm doing with this design now if i can just have those of course. earrings thank you okay so what i'm doing this is it's uh, a two in one interpretation okay. okay so what i always like to do is use a little bit of wire just to anchor it so i know okay where my yeah start is so i'll just twist a little bit of wire and i know that that's my start point okay and then we're going to put on a second jump ring and again close it up just a tiny little wiggle mm -hmm. you heard that click oh that didn't quite close yep there it is okay and then pop another one on because what i'm after is i want to give the give the earring a drop so pop another one on and now we're going to put two closed rings on okay okay And then I'm going to put another two on. Okay. And I'm going to close that up. Got your little click. Okay. So we've now got four jump rings on. If you can see that. Yeah. And then we're going to take another open jump ring, which okay. is the larger size. And I'm going to feed it through just the first two. I really should get some of those large jump rings that Flo uses because you know, they're great for <laughs> we the next I'm having to because I wear contact lenses yeah. for distance so I can read the text messages and on the screen. <laughs> so me trying to focus <laughs> on these now, I'm having real trouble. I know I what you mean because I'm, like, I'm like that when I'm working with them. I'm like, oh, I can't quite see. It's a good okay. job you're doing it, not me. Yeah. So, you know, I, I'm never without my glasses when I'm doing my chain mail. So, again, give it a little wiggle. Got a click. Okay, so now we just need another two jump rings yeah. on the opposite side. Okay. Okay. And then give it a click. There we go. So that is now the start of our pattern. Next time I will use some bigger ones. No, it's <laughs> fine. It's, it's fine for everyone at home because I think it's quite easy to follow, isn't it, Mike? But yeah, for me, who's yeah. got long distance contact lenses in, <laughs> watching <laughs> something closer. I know. I'm, oh, I'm terrible. And do, don't you find mm. that as you get older, they with me, one day I woke up and my vision just like, <laughs> what's happened? It just seems to get worse overnight. Yeah. Every night I sit there watching the telly like that. <laughs> Trying to turn over and see what, and then I was like, why am I sat here? My glasses are right there. <laughs> The okay. Cheaper than Botox. <laughs> okay, so what I like to do, because there's nothing worse than working down a pattern mm -hmm. and then you find you've gone wrong. Okay. And I've done that so many times. Yeah. So I always like to close up um, and then progress on yeah. to the next stage. So the next stage is the jump rings that we've just opened, mm -hmm. sorry, that we've just closed. We're now just going to open up and pop another two closed jump rings on. Okay. Okay. And then we close it up again. And we have to that click. Yep. And then again on the opposite side. So where we had just two mm -hmm. on, we're now going to go through those two. Oh, sorry, wrong side. Okay. Just going to open up that mm -hmm. side with the one yeah. on and pop another two jump rings on. And then close it up again. So we hear that click. 
So now we've got a pattern has started to form where we've got four jump rings, mm -hmm. then we've got one on each side of yeah, on each uh, the large on the larger ones, and then on the larger ones we've got two of the smaller okay. jump rings. And then what we do, take another jump ring, mm -hmm. an open one, and we're now going to go through all four. Okay. And then we close it up. Um, sometimes with chainmail, what I found is that depending on what pattern you're doing, mm -hmm. it can take a little while okay. for your pattern to emerge. Yeah. And then once it starts to mm -hmm. emerge, then there's that sense of gratification of, yeah. oh, I can see where I'm going with it. Whereas at first it could be, oh, I'm not sure if I'm, yeah. uh, if I'm going in the right well, direction it's, with it's it. Well, it's easy, isn't it, Chama? But it's quite time consuming. It because is. Because you're opening and closing and like jumping all the time. Absolutely. Mm. And it does pay to have all your jump rings opened okay. or closed yeah. at the start and you will speed mm -hmm. up. Brilliant. And then with this, it's just simply repeating that yeah. pattern. And that's the lovely thing with chain mail. With so many of the designs, it's a simple design. It yeah. is just repeating yeah. that pattern for as long or as short as you mm. want it. But like you say, as I want you to get into it. Yeah. Don't want to stop, Absolutely. do you? Um, I have here, I did mention earlier on, if there's any newbies tuning in today, uh, coming in for one of the kits maybe, and then um, getting yourself um, the toolkit as well, because you will need, this is an essential part of your jewellery making, you will need the toolkit, as you saw Angela using, um, the chain nose pliers and the bent nose pliers there to open and close jump rings. Um, you've got your cutters in here, you've got your chain nose pliers in there, your round nose pliers in there as well. Your round nose pliers are going to give you that loop if you are making eye pins or anything like that. If you're making your shepherd's hooks, brilliant for giving me that curvature. You've got your crimping pliers in there. Uh, your flat nose pliers, you've got your measuring tool in here as well which will help you measure loose gemstones if you've got any of those, you've got your cutters, you've got your tweezers and your scoop in there, you've got your reamer in there as well, you've got some flat nose pliers, chain nose pliers there and you've got your cutters there as well. These are brilliant if you are teaching. If you are teaching and you've got a lot of people that come to your classes and you need to have quite a few tools, then come in and get yourself the large toolkit. There's 10 pieces in total. Now, guest designer Debbie Bulford, who was here yesterday, we, we were laughing yesterday and joking about her and her book. Because she does walk around with a book in her handbag. And if she notices prices of pliers, for example, anywhere else, she will get her book out and she will write that price tag down. And then she will come back and she will tell us. So oh, she'll tell us. <laughs> yes, she will. <laughs> she will tell us that for just one pair of chain nose pliers, you could be paying £15 elsewhere. I've seen them in that craft shop, she says. Um, and she's absolutely right because elsewhere, you know, per pair, you can be paying... 15 pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds, you know, maybe seven pounds in a sale. She's all right, actually. It's not bad, is it? We're going to take these down to uh, less than a pound each and you get the case. Less than a pound wow. each per piece. Less than a pound per piece. That's incredible, isn't it? So actually, if you are just starting out, this is a great place to start. Come in and get one of the kits from earlier on. Get yourself the tools as well. You're good to go then, aren't oh, you? Yeah, and do you know what? This has got so many features in it that a uh, standard smaller mm -hmm. size one yeah. don't, doesn't have. So I love the fact that you've got the bead reamer yeah. in there. So if you're working with pearls, perfect for reaming. And you've got lots of different heads. Oh yeah, you've got your file yeah, in here as well, haven't that's you? Sorry, right. I didn't mention that, did I? You've got this um, this tool in here as well. You've got all your different attachments here. So you've got a reamer in there as well. You've got a file in there as well. So you could just pop your file in there. If you've got any, if you're working with any sheet metal, any co bare copper or anything like that, you just need to file something off so you can put mm. your file on there. Re I mean, this by itself, yeah. elsewhere, for something like oh, this, yeah. with... Yeah. Four attachments you've got there. Can you imagine what kind of price tag you'd just pay for this alone with those attachments without anything else yeah, that you've got in this, in this toolkit? I think it's brilliant. And not only for, for all the newbies, all the teachers out there, but also for, for jewellery makers that have been making for some mm. time. It's always, always good to have more than one pair of any particular pliers. Because as I was talking about pens earlier on, when you need that particular pair, yeah. you can never find Absolutely. them. And it might be that you have a workshop, it might be that you have a class, it might be that you've got your craft bag, it might be that you want one for downstairs, pair for upstairs as well. 
get yourself a few of these at £19.95. If you want to put all your tools into one and use the case to store something else in, you can absolutely do that as well. BECR04 is your code for this one. 800 644 or on the web at jewelrymaker.com. Lorraine in Newport, Dora in Anglesey, Kay in Cardiff, Vivian in Hampshire, uh, Juanita in East Riding of Yorkshire, Tina in Hampshire, well done to you, Dont in Lancashire, Majida in Essex, Jean in Gwent, you're there as well, congratulations to you. Do make sure you're checking out your baskets for all of these purchases because they are fantastic, fantastic deals today. It's New Year's Eve. Exciting. Why have we got no party poppers? We've got, every now and then I just get the urge. <laughs> Pop a balloon. <laughs> Don't know how I should do that. It's very loud, isn't it? it makes maybe maybe the these ones behind me, which have been acting very weird today. <laughs> Strange, aren't they? I know, because it's all stopped now, isn't it? Mm. Mm. 9.95, B-E-C-R-0-4. <gasps> okay, okay. Um, okay right. then, so you were going to show us the other earrings yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I, I tend to, when I'm selling my work, I tend to work in collections. Okay. So I don't tend to do just random designs. I will, oh. you know, design a collection yeah. for that season. And um, about two years ago, I did a whole collection with this wired Oh, Disney. really? Wow. And all like, and we did um, lots of cultural events. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Birmingham City Council did Jamaica in the Square. Okay. When the Olympic team, the yeah. Jamaican Olympic uh, team, was in Birmingham. And yeah. we, I, you know, we did a collection of this and all the wow. wired gizmo because it had that very, yeah. you know, ethnic feel. And that year, this design was my best selling really wow for that year they're fantastic and they? and it's still it's still very popular yeah. now so i thought oh i will do that because these beads mm -hmm. work really really yeah. really well um with with this design so i've used um some point one okay. wire and to save time i've threaded 60 of okay. these beads on the wire mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna use my um, mandrel yeah um, it is part of the wire gizmo yeah. set um, so some people like to you know clamp it to the desk mm -hmm. and, and work from yeah. the mandrel but I actually just prefer to work from okay, the mandrel hand, itself yeah. yeah without yeah without that so whatever your preference mm -hmm. and if you haven't got sorry a mandrel like this then um, you know a large knitting needle, yeah, there's lots of things you can use, tool, isn't it? Yeah. pen mm -hmm. will, will work. Yeah. So what I do is I like to just coil or you know twist the end of my yeah. wire because there's nothing worse when you've threaded you threaded them all on oh, and then they slide off. off. Yeah. So um, what I do is I'm going to just anchor okay. my wire to my mantle. Mm -hmm. So I've just taken it around the top, mm -hmm. around its side, and that's just going to hold it on. Okay, okay. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just on the earrings, just get a few coils going. Okay. Um, just to get it started. Yeah. And to give that design at the top. So all I'm going to do is just. Uh, hold the wire in my hands mm -hmm. and sometimes it's just nice to warm the wire a little bit with yeah. your, your fingers just to get it going and then I'm just going to nice and slowly twist it okay. around the mandrel like so okay. and then every now and again I will just mm -hmm. squeeze it up. It is, you will get it tighter and yeah. need to wrap using the mandrel but um, for you know I have difficulty holding and grasping okay. things and that's a nightmare for me. So I do prefer just to use it freehand, mm -hmm. but it works just as well. So, you know, do quite a few coils to get going. And it doesn't matter at this point whether it's slightly, you know, bent out yeah. because with a design like this, you can stretch it out or you okay. can pull it back tight yeah. together. And then what we're gonna do is just take our beads and we're gonna push it right up to the edge of the mandrel mm -hmm. and just take a few at a time and we're just going to 
wrap it round. Okay. Okay. So just wrap it round the mandrel, keeping your beads nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Push a few more up. Okay. And again, just turn. Okay. And we're going to just continue doing this yeah. until you get to the very end okay. of all your beads. Okay, I'm going to let you catch up there, Angela. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to bring you the shall I do the uh, chandelier earring set. These are fantastic. I love these. Really simple jewellery making. If you're buying a gift for somebody that's just starting out, maybe, or maybe you just like the look of these earrings and you want to give them a go yourself. Lady instructions. Pictures, numbers, simple. They're great. Uh, have a look at these. It'll take you through step by step how to build your earrings. Now, in here, you've got amethyst. Looks like amethyst peridot and citrine you've got uh, in your chandelier earrings you will get the chandelier earring findings itself oh oh yes and rose quartz i beg your pardon there's rose quartz in there as well so i've got citrine peridot rose quartz and amethyst you've got your earring chandeliers in there as well and you've got your shepherd's hook and you've got your featherweight head pins and this is the finishing result there as well so easy to do. It will take you through step by step. And you know, this look is very on trend. Boho chic, very on trend right now. Great for the summer months that are coming up as well. So it's just going to take you through step by step. They're really, really easy. Using your featherweight head pins, you're just going to wrap your gemstones onto the bottom. I'll get the chandeliers out actually to show you. Um, onto the bottom of your chandelier earring findings. Really easy. And if you've got any gemstones at home that you'd rather use instead of the ones that come in the pack, you can use them. It's entirely up to you. 0800 655 silver plated there as well. So you've got that look of silver um, and the luster of silver. But not a silver price tag. It's fantastic. 0800 644 655. So you've got 50 of the head pins in there as well. That's a lot of head pins. Featherweight head pins in there. 50 of those, £6.95. pence. Now, if you wanted to make yourself some earrings that consisted of amethyst, rose quartz, peridot, citrine, the earring, they would cost you more than that. Even yeah. from jewellery maker, yeah. with the components and the gemstones, six pounds and 95 pence you've got five carats of amethyst five carats of citrine five carats of your rose quartz and five carats of your peridot there so that's 20 carats of gemstones all your findings in there step-by-step -step instructions the box as well if it is a gift for somebody's birthday mm -hmm. Um, maybe I love that it's fantastic 0800 644 655 or on the web at jewellerymaker.com CZDL26 so you've got your earring chandelier your earring hooks your featherweight head pins your amethyst rounds your peridot rounds your rose quartz and your citrine rounds in there as well lots and lots of you get 6.95 this is gift giving made so easy isn't, isn't it, it just I just think it's a fabulous idea. It's brilliant. And I'm just thinking, actually, Andrew, if you wanted to buy anywhere a pair of earrings with 20 carats mm. of peridot, rose quartz, amethyst and citrine, what kind of price tag would you pay? You wouldn't you'd you be paying more than 6 dollars exactly. And the gems are really clear on those, aren't they? They really look oh, the quality. they are phenomenal. I won't get them all out because I don't have a, um, a bead mat over here to put them on. But if you can see the clarity and your gemstones there, five carats of each of your gemstones were just six pounds and ninety-five pence. I hundred six double four six double five. Well done if you've managed to get those. They're fantastic. Um, right, Angela. Yeah. I should let you carry on, lovely. Okay. Um, I just want uh, something I forgot to say. Yeah. You know, people often ask me about where they can take their pieces to sell. Okay. Um, and one of the places that um, I know I'm currently working with but is a great option for people to um to to present their chain mail pieces to a museums ah, of course. and museums particularly museums that houses collections yeah. around armor mm -hmm. chain of course places like that yeah um so you know what i try to do is to say to you know our customers don't just think about craft fairs. Yeah. You know, there are so many places. Yeah. You know, you've got your Armoury Museum up in Leeds mm -hmm. that specialises in housing. Is it um, 
uh, Henry the Henry the Eighth's Armoury Collection. Is it wow. Lidl in London? One of the museums, anyway. They specialise in that. So you know, these are opportunities mm. to present your yeah. work to them you know so think about approaching museums not the ones i'm approaching by the way yeah. <laughs> somewhere else <laughs> yeah somewhere else mm -hmm. um but yeah do think about approaching yeah. museums with with them um mm. and we know a flair specializes in like the yeah. all medieval and yeah. you know, and that's great you know but i say that there's places like that that you can approach mm. um you know and even when workshops and yeah. classes and then you have your outlet for presenting mm. your work yeah so yeah so you know always i always try and help people to think broadly mm. with their work yeah you know rather than the craft fair which is which works for some people yeah and not for others but if you're looking for alternatives museums are fabulous places brilliant idea brilliant okay right okay so um i've just wound on all my beads and that was just literally you know of pushing a few what few at a time and going round and you can see you know the design yeah. is really starting to form and then we're just going to finish off with just a few more twists mm -hmm. of the wire and always do more than you need okay because you know in the past i know when i started doing this design I would only do three or four and ended up well short and it's not a great look mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah always do more than yeah. you need and then we're just going to snip off and then just to get it off the mandrel mm -hmm. we're just going to snip all this excess wire okay. off we don't need that okay and then you just now easily slide off wow. and it keeps its shape yeah it keeps its form and the lovely thing about this and using the one mill is mm -hmm. because it's a firm wire you could tease it out okay if you wanted yeah. to wow i'll just show you make it springy yeah so you could tease it out tease your design out if you wanted to and elongate okay. it and if you decided to change your mind you just push it back brilliant so give it a little twist and you get it back into shape that's fab so yeah so that's a really nice yeah. lovely design um and then so what i've done then is just to neaten the top edge mm -hmm. of the earring i've just literally snipped down so i've just taken two or three of the coils off so that i've ended up with five okay five rows on the top there oh, but sorry that's all right <laughs> it's got a lie from its I'll own <laughs> okay so again on this edge just snip it down and i'm just using my standard pliers on this um but if you had the um the uh, the um, flush flush, flush cutters, cutters yeah. you could use that I'm not particularly worried about using the flush cutters on these because we're going to tuck the ends okay. in anyway so you're not going to get yeah. a sharp edge so with my round nose plier mm -hmm. I'm literally now just going to take the end okay and I'm going to just twist it inwards ah, so just a little twist it. in Mm -hmm. So you've got yeah. absolutely no sharp edges on the end there. And the same with this end. Just going to okay. literally twist it in. Mm -hmm. So that's tucked yeah. nice and neat inside. So that's the structure of your earring um, and this design is so lovely I know mm. Rachel Noyes the fabulous Rachel Noyes introduced us to wire gizmo yeah. and this coiling technique a couple of years ago and um, Rachel used to make some fat and she still does make yeah. fabulous designs with bracelets and pendants mm -hmm. and necklaces so you know you can do all yeah. sorts of things with this design so what mm. I've then done just to finish off okay. is I've taken um, just a bit of 0.8 okay. or 0.6 wire yeah. over because now we need to 
attach it to our earring. Okay. So I'll just move these out of the way. So uh, I've just taken the length. Mm -hmm. Put about 20 centimetres yeah. or something like that. Um, you could use one or two. I've used two um, two lengths on this, on okay. this design, because I didn't have yeah. the point eight at home. But I'm just going to use, actually I'll probably just do what I've done at home actually. So I've just take two lengths of wire, it doesn't matter if it's the same mm -hmm. size, okay. Put them together and we're just going to create a wrap clue. Yeah. Okay, so we're just bending that over and giving it a twist. Okay. Okay. And then what we're going to do, just bring the two wires together. Yeah. And we're now just going to feed it mm -hmm. through our okay. loop at the top. Yeah. Okay. Bring it out to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And that is going ah. to create the loop yeah. from which our earring is yeah. going to sit um, and because the uh, the wrap loop is wider than mm -hmm. the top and you've got uh, the wire turned in yeah it's not going to fall, fall through, through. Brilliant. which is really important because yeah. that's the last thing you want is for your mm -hmm. earring to yeah. go all skew if because it's fallen through Mm -hmm. And then, just very quickly, just to neaten the edge, the bottom, just snipped off our wire. Okay. And then you can just add a I bead. Done. And all I've done is just pop the bead yeah. on, turned it up. Okay. See, I've cut this too short now. Oh. <laughs> Which is, you know, sometimes yeah. they say it's always best to leave more okay. wire than you need. Um, and then I'm just going to now just secure that mm -hmm. by wrapping it round. Okay. Just one or two wraps. Yeah. And that is now going to secure that bead. Excellent. Okay. And you just repeat that. And you just two. repeat that. And, and that's it. And then put, attach your earring finding. And then you've got a lovely pair of earrings. They are beautiful, those are. Thank you so much, You're Angela. Welcome. Um, we have, coming up after the break, I've got a star buy coming up for you. Um, Gold-plated toggle clasp with amethyst. Yes, I do. Um, and we've got Labradorite slabs. Oh, my gosh, they're incredible. Coming up for you as a superstar buy at 4.30. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back with you in a few minutes' time. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account.